it's good timing. Okay. So, kind of, let's say it was. <laughs> um, okay, hello, hello, hello. Um, so it's been a few weeks, as always. I think it's always been, <laughs> I think for like the past couple of streams, it has been a few weeks instead of just one. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be uh, continuing with Okami. Um, and hopefully making some decent progress. I'm hoping to have it maybe finished in like a, in like a stream or two. I don't really know, because I think, like I've said in the, in the past couple streams, is I don't really have a good grasp on um, how much of the game is left. But I guess we'll find out. Uh, right. You will have to forgive me, I am a little all over the place. I've been doing more like a tweaking of my mic settings. Because it's still not quite how I want it to sound, but I'm not very good at getting it to sound a particular way, so, you know. Um, right. I think we're pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna switch this over, and we have audio. Well, we should have audio anyway. I hope we do. Um, okay. Cool. This is where I find out after the stream that everything went wrong and it's terrible and everything sucks. But you know what? It's fine. Okay. So I believe last time we were doing like the... We did like all of the stuff for Seiyan City, I think? Um, and then we ended in, like, the new region, which is this. It's Island Cherry. Yeah, and we were, like, just about to start exploring here. Um... Your... Northern Ryushima Coast, yeah. So, I, I was thinking, um, between last stream and this one, one thing I would actually like to go and check, and I might have done this in the last stream and I've just forgotten, but the um the temple in the previous area had no one in it. Um and I think there was a like a guy out front that was like waiting for someone to come back. So I, I wanna go and see if we can like now that we've done like the main quest for that area, if something will change. I'm guessing probably not, but it's worth taking a look, I think. Uh, uh, hello. This guy works, yeah. You have to, like, there we go. Nice. Yeah, so, um, in case you missed it on uh, on Twitter, I do post fairly regularly on there, so please consider checking it out if you want to keep up to date on, like, if I'm alive. Um, but I, this week was my last week at uni, so I am now officially done for the year, which is very exciting. Um, and one of the things that means is that next week I don't have any obligations, so I'm going to be probably using that time to try and work on some stuff for YouTube, obviously, and just like my own personal stuff. But I would like to try and see if I can fit in a couple streams during the week. Not necessarily at uh, the weekend. Actually, probably not the weekend because I think I'm not going to be available by then. But just like throughout the week, I think would be fun. Um, and I put out a post last night, I think it was, um, because very recently there was a Undertale fan game called Undertale Yellow that recently came out. Um, and it looks really cool. I, I haven't like uh, I haven't looked at it too much because I don't want to spoil myself, but 
I've been hearing very, very good things. So I figured, like, uh, I, I put out a post basically just asking if people would like to see me do a playthrough, and it has gotten a lot of positive response. So that's probably what will be happening next week. As well as probably another Akami stream, if I had to guess. Because I doubt we'll finish today. But yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at. Um, we have Dick Spot. Nice. Oh yeah, we got the double jump, didn't we? I forgot about that. How the heck am I gonna get back up? Oh, the. He goes just all all front legs. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Uncle Kutempo's head priestess practices monsters of doing magic. So if there is any trouble in the city, they call for her. Oh, this is the same this is the same dialogue, I think. I'm gonna go in and just see if if anything has changed. So yeah, sorry if the energy is a little weird today. I've been um, I've been working like crazy for the past couple of weeks, so I'm pretty tired. But I'm I'm happy to be back playing Murakami because this game is very cool. Uh, right. Let me think. So it doesn't actually seem like there is anything to do here for now. Which is weird. I, I wonder if we'll have to come back here like later on. Maybe. But in any case, I guess we'll just move on. We got things to do. I don't actually remember like what the goal was. I think we're just sort of like looking for the like um the like darkness that was spread around when we beat Orochi. So we're kind of just um, exploring the western coast and just like solving people's problems. I think that's the vibe at the moment. So um, yeah. Oh, it's this guy again. A strange enemy. I don't really understand how slashing the skull like stuns it. It's odd. It's an interesting fight, I just don't really like I don't really understand like logically how it's meant to work. Can we go past please? Yes please. Open it now. Okay, awesome. Right, yeah, so we like, at the end of last stream we had just arrived here. And we went down to the first save point, and then I called it. So I guess we will spend some time exploring this area. And just kind of seeing what's going on. Oh wait, no, I do remember what, what was going on. There was the, uh, was it Oni Island? That is like, it's over there somewhere. I think I remember seeing it. We're trying to get there, I think. It's 
still don't really understand what these statues are for. Um, let's give the cat some fish. Presumably, I have to draw something on here. Interesting. Strange. There's a lot of like little secrets um, and things like that I'm gathering. Just, just from like exploring, there are things that I probably have to return to later with like certain abilities or. Oh. This is weird. Oh wait, is it just a tree? Oh. Weird. It's like a really strange looking trees. Okay. Saw this over here. So we can check this out. I will say, like, I haven't I haven't really been super motivated to collect like stuff from chests. Beyond it just being like fun as like a completionist sort of thing. But like um the actual rewards themselves, like, I haven't... I guess because, like, I haven't really felt a need to use any of the things I've been collecting so far. It, it, it means that, like, I don't really... I don't really feel like I get too much from collecting stuff, which is a bit of a shame. Also, the, the big guy is just out. Out and about. And, uh, I think Oni Island. Wait. Did it actually move? It was there, right? I literally just saw it as I was like coming around the side. <laughs> That's cool. N now there's just like the the tower from Wind Waker. Okay, what is this? Umi's restaurant. Mmm, I just love the smell of seafood. Wait, Umi just means sea, doesn't it? Oh, like ocean? Oh, uh, welcome. We're happy to see anyone here at the moment, even a dog. There just isn't any fresh fish available these days. We've hardly got any customers at all. We're well known for our chef, Mr. Umi's fresh fish dis dishes. I hope you get to try one of them. If you're looking for Mr. Umi, he's out back. He seems really worried about his cooking at the moment. See if you can cheer him up a bit. Uh... Oh. That's a lot of fish. Goodness gracious, whatever will I do? Even I, the great chef, Umi, can't cook without ingredients. I'm at the end of my rope. Cyclone Chef Umi. Listen, doggy, can I bend your fairy little ear? There's no good fish here lately, and I can't cook without fish. I feel like I'm starting to lose my touch. I've had enough. There's got to be something around here that'd make a good meal. Mmm. Mmm. Uh... Hey, what are you looking at? Mm, no, it'd be too much effort to getting all that fur off you. 
I need some juicy fruits of the sea to show what I can do. And they must be fresh. It's an insult to the sea and the fish if the dish goes wrong. Now, I don't know what the story is with the water dragon, but I do know that the fish I need aren't being caught. Still, I've asked the fisherman, I can't do any more than that. I guess all I can do is sit tight and wait for good news. Okay, so we got a fish, I guess? Go do some fishing? I actually don't think I've tried fishing outside of like the the main quest. So I don't actually know if you can like do it at any spot or like how exactly it works. Um let me see if I Arm and runs a key item and cannot be used. Okay, awesome. So there's probably like specific spots I need to go to. This seems like a side thing anyway, so I guess I'll just move on. At least for now. I'll get up there. I really hope I don't have to come at it from like that side. <laughs> just, there's no chance. I do not want to deal with the water dragon right now. Okay, let's save and let's cross the bridge. That, that shop there just screams Zelda. <laughs> Just the way it's got like all of the the designs on the roof. Oh. Hiroshima, so you got taken by that porker guy, right? And he took you to a castle at the bottom of the sea? Oh yeah, we were also trying to get there, I think. If that's true, then where's that porker now, huh? Yeah, where is he now? Yeah, where is he? What are they talking about? It ain't Porka, it's Orca. He's an emissary of the Dragon Palace. And he only comes for people worthy of going there. Yeah, right, didn't your mom teach you not to tell lies? Let's get him. Yeah, get him. Dang. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Only cowards gang up on people like that. Hey, who's that? Good timing, I'm bored of playing with him now. Come on, let's go play somewhere else. Yeah, let's go play. Wow. Incredible. What do you think those little brats were talking about, Ami? What did they mean by a castle at the bottom of the sea? Who can say? Hey kid, how long are you planning on staying like that? Hey, I'm talking to you. What's wrong, kid? Hello, anyone home? Bonk. Ugh. Must have dozed off. I reckon I do that a lot on the beach. Fisherman Urashima. Oh, this is the guy that I guess they sent out to get fish. I don't know who y'all are, but I sure appreciate you waking me up. When I ain't got the strength to go home, sometimes I nap here. You were sleeping? Ugh, you really had us worried, hunched over so long like that. You're not sick or injured, are you? No, sir. I'm fit as a fiddle I am. Just taking a nap on the beach is all. Oh, well, that's a relief. Anyway, what was that about a castle at the bottom of the sea? Would you mind filling us in? Uh, no one ever believes me about that. There's a land under the sea here in Ryoshima. The Dragonians and Sea God live there in the Dragon Palace. The Dragon Palace is an amazing place, real pretty. I haven't been there in a dog's age, though. Dragon Palace? Land of the Dragonians? They're the ones controlling the water dragon. Himiko said so. So just how does one get down to that palace, Bucket Boy? How could a... Uh, I mean, big boned lad like you elude that water dragon and make it all the way down to the bottom of the sea? The water dragon was much nicer in those days. But you can't just choose to go to the Dragon Palace, see? 
Only worthy people can go. If you're worthy, an emissary called Orca comes to get you. So this Orca dude is an emissary from the Dragon Palace? And just how do you get to meet this guy anyway? Now that's one question that ain't so easy to answer. You all see that pier over yonder? That is indeed a pier over yonder. That pier is where I met Orca. I was looking out to the sea when he came with the morning sun. Okay, so we, we just put the sun in the sky. Orca only comes if you're worthy of the Dragon Palace, I reckon. So I'm guessing we need to do some sort of prerequisite. And then we go to the pier and put the sun in the sky. That seems simple enough. The question is what that prerequisite is, if anything, or if I'm just worthy by default because protagonists. Wow, they even dry their own seaweed. Well, well, uh, ain't you a fine looking wolf? White as snow. What are you doing in an old beach, ho beach house like this then? I ain't got nothing for you, but you can rest here if you like. Urashima is always out fishing on- oh, it's his, his wife, I guess. Oh, okay. Cool. So this is just like the fisherman's house. Oh, bad. Okay. Oh, hello, Biggie. Uh, you guys eat seeds. Okay, what is up here? Oh! Uh, herbs? Yay! Again, like, even this, like, I don't really... Obviously, I've been doing the upgrades, but I don't really feel like... I've needed them all that much. So I don't really feel super motivated to even bother. Okay. Well, there's a face I know. It's been a while, Poochie. Hey, you're that apple guy who was over by the big drawbridge. We didn't see you in the city, what are you doing here? Well, I've had a complete change of heart since then. I gave up my old job and set off on a journey to hone my skills. This suits me much better than my former duties back in the city. Nippon's best archer and his bow, Golden Fire, are still in top form. Yeah, Poochie, why not have a bite to eat and relax a bit? Yum. What, is th that some sort of training to hone your skill? You got it. See that fruit hanging on the tree over by that little island? That's what I'm aiming for. I'm going right back to the basics. But that fruit is as hard as stone. Nothing damages it, even if I hit its dead center a, hun a hundred times. It sounds strange, but that's what makes it a good target. Hey, Poochie, why don't have a bite to eat? Yeah, okay. Also, sorry if, like, <laughs> I know the voices are usually pretty terrible, but sorry if, um, they're not as interesting today. I'm just not, I'm not super feeling, uh, destroying my voice today. It is what it is. So can I... wait, where is he firing? Oh, over there. I reached that? Yeah, I probably can. Dick spot that I can't use because I don't have the... the item. Which I think was... I think, like, the Emperor had the item? I'm remembering correctly. I really hope that I can get up here. Oh! Oh, I can 100% do that. Yeah, okay, nice. So can I slice this down? No, because it's too hard. I see. 
Well, this guardian sapling is just bursting with blossoms. It's even starting to bear fruit. Of course, it's not ripe yet, so keep your fairy paws off. I see. That makes sense. More items. <laughs> Yippee. There's got to be like a... A more efficient way to swim that we unlock later or something. Because the double jump lily pad strat is like a little tedious. Let's see, is there anything else to look at before we head over here? I don't think so. Let's see. We came from over there. There's the house. There's that, which seems important. Um, but we're already over here now, so we may as well, like, keep going. Right? Sure, let's, let's go have a look. I may come to regret this. But hopefully not. I think the water dragon was over there. So I'm just gonna hope he leaves me alone. I wonder if we'll get, like, I think I, I've been saying this in previous streams, I do wonder if we'll get the ability to swim underwater. Because we've got... Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Cool. I haven't had that happen yet, so that's fun. Because he just spit me back out. Yeah. It's... Whoa. I thought we were goners. How do we get out of that mess? I don't know, maybe I taste bad. That makes sense. Um, right, so... Yeah, it doesn't look like that's that's easy enough to do. So let's try, let's try going to the pier. Um... Do I just put the sun in the sky? Is that, is that it? Wow, that's easy enough. Something's coming. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love him. Why does this big fish look so happy? It's kind of creeping me out. Ugh. Walker, Walker, it's you. It's been a dog's age. I stopped counting the years. Did you come to take me back to the Dragon Palace? L. Olga? This is that emissary or whatever of the Dragonians? Wow. Dragon Palace Emissary Orca. At last, one worthy of visiting the Dragon Palace. Hop on. I'll take you to the Dragon Palace. Hear that, Emmy? I am second to none when it comes to swimming. Even that water dragon's no match for me. You heard him. What are we gonna do, Emmy? Oh, I guess you already made up your mind. Mwah. You can't climb. Do I just have to, like... Oh. There we go. This is Orca? <laughs> Not a very creative name. He looks kind of fishy, pun intended. Wanna hitch a ride? Ride on, or ride on Orca, yes. You do? Well, I don't suppose we have much of a choice. We might as well take advantage of him now that he's here. I'm second to none when it comes to swimming. That water dragon's no match for me. 
Yep. Let's go. I'm afraid I can't do that yet. Huh? You must complete the final ordeal decreed by Otohime. Only then will you be worthy of visiting the Dragon Palace. Hey, Oka, is this Otohime your boss or something? She's got a lot of nerve letting that water dragon run amok. Listen, Oka, we want to ride down to the Dragon Palace. So let's hear about that ordeal you were talking about. The entrance to the Dragon Palace is a whirlpool, but it's hidden right now to keep to keep out the evil the beings that plague this area. You must find the whirlpool amid this vast sea. That is the ordeal decreed by Otohime. Sounds like a piece of cake. I mean, the sea's packed with places begging to be explored. We'll just have to check them out till we find that whirlpool. Okay. Seems simple enough. There's a bunch of different islands, so... Well, what are we waiting for? Full speed ahead, fish breath. Oh, do I get to ride on it? Ah, I see. This is how we explore. Oh, that's fun. Wow, they really did take a page out of Zelda. <laughs> and now, now we're in Wind Waker. I do not want to get off of her. I want to explore. Oh, the music. It's so nice. You kind of, there we go. I was going to say, I kind of wish the camera would zoom out a little bit. I'm not sure where exactly I should be looking, to be honest. I'm just going to kind of explore around a bit. Oh, the island's over there now. Interesting. The music just weirdly got louder. Alright, uh, let's get off here. Cool, so he just like stays put. Wow, it is strange how like... How accurate that is to um... To Wimwaker. Okay, what have we got up here? Hole. Can I dip? Nope, it's too strong. Oh wait, can I bomb it? I can. What is this? Ooh. Interesting. Little amount offered by Amaterasu. Zero yen. Oh. Hey, there's money in here. Maybe it's one of those divine springs. The god of the spring is said to help those who toss in some money. Never expected to find a divine spring here, though. Uh, yeah, you can have 40,000. I'm not using it. Whoa, check it out. The spring got all sparkly. The spring must love money. I bet something good will happen if you make a bigger offering. I did. How much does it want? I'll give it like another 10, I guess. And then jump in. Hmm. Maybe you need to get to like 100,000. Dang. Yeah, this game really feels like it pulled from, like, all of the different, like, facets of Zelda. Um, and it works, to be honest. Yes, we have to find the whirlpool. I mean, maybe it's in... over here. I do kind of want to check this out. Now that we have a means to. Go, okay, go. Oh. What's that? Yeah. Okay, it's coming from that tower. 
Why can we hear it from here? <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but let's go check it out. Let's see. Uh, get off. Nice. Kittens. Enjoy your fish. Strange. Guess we'll see what's going on in here. Tower. Okay. Hmm. Sounds like that annoying meow is coming from the top of this tower. Hey, look at those paw prints on the wall. Isn't that the mark of Catwalk? It's one of the 13 celestial brush techniques. Wait, maybe that means. Will we get it here? I, maybe that's what the. Oh, I bet that's what the statues are, are like implying. That's where where I use Catwalk. What am I looking at? <laughs> Is it like a wheel made from cats? Interesting. Oh man. I'm getting comboed. Just like dodging. Oh, I guess I can try like parrying it. Oh, I got it. Now it's fire, but I don't think that there's any water nearby. Whoops. See, these guys are doing damage. Good for them. Oh wait, can I put the fire up? Yeah. There we go. But there's no fire here, so... Uh oh. Yikes. Let me go! Right. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, but I have a revive. Because I forgot that's like a system. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, this one sucks. <laughs> I'm trying to time a parry so that I can actually, like, do anything. There we go. Nice. I like the idea of it, like, switching elements, but I don't have anything in my environment to <laughs> do anything el elemental with. Okay, so is this where we unlock Catwalk? Mark of Kabagami. How they got me, uh... Uh, travel guide. Is it in here? Yes. You may notice this assembles... Assembles called the Mark of Kabegami on your travels. Remnants of Kabegami's power lie within these arcane markings. Those blessed with divine power may walk up walls bearing the mark. Simply jump up with X when near such a wall. Press X again to attach yourself to the wall. Okay, right. 
provided the markers there. So I'm guessing the the brush technique will allow me to put the mark on other walls. Yeah, so probably the meowing we're hearing at the top is from Kabegami. And I'm guessing these statues are used to show me which walls the mark can be put on. That's probably how it works. So we'll probably just have to climb to the top of this and then we'll get the... Uh, we'll get the ability. It's interesting, this game has loads of really cool abilities. Um, but like... I don't know if it uses them very well. Maybe, maybe it's just me, or maybe I just like haven't seen enough of them. But like, I feel like there are a lot of skills that I just kind of learn and then forget about. There we go. Yeah, health upgrade. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Why not? Okay, so do I just have to like, jump on the wall? Oh, there we go. I have planted myself on the wall. Oh, weird. I, I figured it would be more like a wall, like an actual walk. But it's just like the wall jump, except you like, you lock onto it. Interesting. This is strange. Is that? Hey, hey, what's gotten into you, Ami? You trying to get to the top of the tower or something? You're one enthusiastic furball. Meow. Gosh, there are so many cats up here. I don't have any more fish, so this is the last one. Let me just double check that OBS is doing everything as expected. Yeah, we look good. Awesome. Oh my god, I did not know I could do that. I'm sorry, that was not good. Bit... <laughs> gaze off into the world. Everything the light touches. Okay, uh, let's keep going. This is so strange. This is not what I had in mind for like a wall, a wall climbing ability. I mean, it works, I guess. It's just strange. I'm killing this one. I don't like it. Oh. Oh. He's built different. Oh, I see. Right, it's checkpoints to stop me from falling. Let's consider it. Right. Oh, there's a barrier. Whoops. My bad. Okay, let's keep climbing. Which I'm sure will definitely come in handy. For sure. Is this the top? No, not quite. It looks important though. Holy bone. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay. okay I'm getting the stress down and <laughs> it's gonna get faster. 
I think if you like lean away from the wall a little bit and do a double jump, you can you can get more mileage out of a single jump. Is that a checkpoint? Yes, it is. With a chest. The meows are getting louder. The voices. Are we just gonna like jump down after this like <laughs> from all the way at the top? That'd be fun. We go. We gotta be getting close. the entrance. Do this. Yeah. Nice. And we have a checkpoint. So I guess we can walk down if we want to. With a mermaid coin to go with it. Very, very generous. Anything else down here? No. Chest. looking. The camera's being a little funky. Which I guess makes sense. Oh, there's one on this wall as well. Interesting. Oh my god, it's a cat. Crazy. Amy, look, there's a kitty cat over there. I wonder what it's doing all alone up here. It couldn't have climbed all the way up by itself, could it? Surely there couldn't be anything to eat all the way up here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just sold... Oh my... I had a thought when I... When I gave that cat the last fish of like... I really hope I don't need to use this at the top. It was just a passing thought, like a... <laughs> a passing negative thought. But of course it comes true. That's why they put this here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let me walk to, I don't know, somewhere. And just buy a stupid amount of fish. Uh... This will work. Uh, I don't remember where the shop was. I think it's this way. It was probably somewhere else I could have warped that would have been faster, but oh well. Give me all of your fish. I'm not asking. And now we head straight back. Right. 
There we go. I make coin. We head back up to Catcall Tower. Alright cat, I got you a stupid fish. And stop meowing. Oscillation, yeah. Who could have seen this coming? Oh, I forgot it like shares the lines up once you start drawing. I wish I could see them though, because the actual drawing is in the way. Is that okay? It's like weirdly picky when it comes to like positioning of the stars for some reason. It's a cat me. Oh no. is good and mother to us all. The swirling whirlpool of evil below has driven me to this height. From this perch, I observe the world below and its descent. If my power is needed once again, I, Kabegami, god of walls, shall gladly offer a bridge of hope to the realm below. God of walls? That must be a boring uh, occupation. <laughs> Hey, I'm not your personal toy to be played with like that. Wait a sec, that must have been Kawegami, one of the, one one of the thirteen gods. You know, the one with the catwalk brush technique. And this kitty right here is a messenger of the gods. And here I thought it was just some stray cat. Whoa, check it out, the statue's starting to glow. Oh, I get it. The Kawegami statue is telling you to use the catwalk power. Ami, put your brush on the statue and draw a line up the wall. That'll let you transfer the god's catwalk power into the wall. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's like less complicated than I thought it would be. Interesting. Okay, so I can like draw the path that I need to climb the wall. Interesting. That's cool. I don't really know if I want to go around exploring all of the... Uh, all of the new areas that will have opened up from this. We can maybe like check out some of them, but I feel like it would take a long time. Is there anything I can do with this? Whoa, that's one big kitty statue. This must be the top of the tower. Doesn't that wind feel great? I'm sure it does. Are we? Yeah, we're jumping off. 100%. If the game lets me, I'm jumping up. Sun fragment. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Down we go. Wow, I'm surprised that actually worked. 
the camera is like really upset today for some reason. Let's try climbing up this. Yeah. Cool. And then I fell straight off. Oh, there are several. Is there anything up on this one? Yes, there is. It's cool. I like that you can like draw your own path with it rather than just like making a surface accessible. That's a lot more fun. Okay, so now we have the new brush technique. Um, I'm guessing we can go up, there's like this over here. I'm guessing maybe we needed the, the brush technique for that. But I'm not sure. Um, where else haven't we been? There's a couple islands over to the left we could try and take a look at. And also, I think I saw Oni Island earlier, so we could maybe try reaching it. But if I'm not mistaken, um... We have to do the Water Palace stuff first anyway, because I think there's like some sort of barrier or something that's preventing us from getting to the Oni Island. If I'm remembering correctly. So I think that was where we were earlier. That's where the spring was. Ooh, uh oh. I do not want to deal with that guy. Oh, but he wants to deal with me. Yeah, uh oh. Oh boy. Good luck with that, Orca. You have fun. I'm getting out of there. Okay, what's on this one? Oh. There's a lot of pots. I guess those islands? The next ones? Yeah, those three. I guess I'll head over there next. I just realized I can probably break those rocks with a bomb. Maybe. I don't know if I've tried that yet. Go around the side. I don't really want to deal with this guy right now. I think the water, the water, water pool is what I was gonna say. The the whirlpool is probably somewhere over here. If I had to guess, I think I think this would make the most sense. There is also a dock here, which is like quite telling. Yes. Night falls. Pot. Some folk, some folk worry about the dragon, the water dragon, and all. But if you're gonna fish, you gotta fish in the sea. All you need is a stout resilience against the vast raging sea. If you've got that, you hardly even need a line. Yeah, right. That chef Umi wants me to catch him something. So, oh, this is the fisherman you wanted. Only one fish fits that bill: the king of the sea, the marlin. I'm gonna haul in a big one and give that old guy the shock of his life. Hey, pup, do you know what you're carrying there? 
Any fisherman would kill for that rod. That's the Marlin rod, the strongest in the world. Oh yeah, I remember buying this. With a rod that tough, there's no fish you couldn't reel in. Even the great king of the sea, the Marlin. Be nice, pup. You know that rod belongs to me. <laughs> you were robbed of a Marlin rod. Awesome. <laughs> Let's see what this Marlin rod's got, huh? Guess you'll want to stick around to see this, right, pup? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Okay, Ami, you got the basic idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've oh, done this a few times. Hey, I got a bite. Nice. What a silly guy. Full of poison. He's a big guy himself. This has got to be a big old Marlin. Good. Stop moving around. The other fish were this difficult. What the heck? Stop turning around. It's it's really like awkward because you've got to constantly be watching its movements and then moving in the opposite direction. So when it's like turning around really quickly, my brain like my brain gets fried. There we go. Oh, but we're gonna have to do it three times, aren't we? Of course. Great. Love it. Oh, but now it's being more agreeable. Weird. It's... So awkward. All in a quiet. Hey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is so big. Take a look at this. The mighty king of the sea, the Marlin. It finally hits the sand. I've been fishing here in Ryoshima for a good few years now. It's not Ryoshima, it's Ryosh Ryoshima. But I've never, I've never bagged one as big as this before. No time to waste. That prima donna chef will only take the freshest fish. I'll run this over to him now. See ya! Okay, good luck with that. You are on a remote island. I don't know how you plan to get back, but... Pop off. Okay, what's going on over here? Anything of interest? Spot, but I can't do this one because the ground is too tough. I'm not seeing the whirlpool. 
Oh, is this like over that way? I don't think it would be though. Oh, I appreciate that the, the map shows different points where I can use Cat Call. I think I'm just gonna try swimming out to Oni Island. That's like the only idea I have at the moment. Oh, there's also that. I guess we could check that out. It looks similar to the um the the spring that we found earlier. All right, let's go. Yes, yes, I understand. Uh, over here. Get off, okay. Yes, please. I miss. Can I just not break this? Oh, I guess I just can't break that. Cool. Need like the the strong digging claws or whatever. All right. Well, I guess we'll try and head towards Oni Island. It's like the only other landmark that stands out. I keep accidentally pressing that. I see my camera. There we go. Okay, hit the border of the map. Awesome. Okay, so it's definitely not over here then. Guess we'll look around here a bit more. It says whirlpool, so I don't know if it's going to be like a little, like, like in like a lake on one of the islands or something, or if it's just going to be in the water. Not too sure what to look for. Music, but they're writing on Orca. It's very nice. Oh. Seeing anything? So let's go and check out the the catwalk spots. We may as well. Yes. Presumably I need to remember where Orca is. I okay, said so this is one of them actually. Yeah, I remember this. So we can get up here now. So what is this? Is that, is that the rock? Dwayne, is that you? Cyclops Dwayne? Oh my god, he's smoking. No! Oh, that's bad for your health. Oh, I can make him burn himself? <laughs> nice. That's fun. I'm sure what my goal is here. Ow. Oh. 
I mean, this works. Is he gonna explode? Oh, he transformed. Oh, that's cool. Where is he? Oh, he's above. Oh, and he's back to this one. Okay, cool. I don't really get how it works, but he's dead now. Oh, no. Someone there? Oh, you're a great watcher. This is Watcher's Cape. It's said the gods once used this place to return to the heavens. At night, this place offered a great view of the starry sky. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible from the cape's tip. Okay, I understand. Whirlpool Galaxy. It's a group of stars. They form the shape of a great spiral like a heavenly whirlpool. But since the demon-shaped island appeared out at sea, there are more and more monsters about and the skies have dulled. The magnificent starry view can no longer be seen. Doubt. When night falls, yeah, okay. So we probably go over there, make it night time, and then whoopsie doodle. Uh, we got we got progress. Is there anything here? I guess there like used to be a bridge here and it collapsed. Okay. Well, there was a building up here for some reason. I guess it was just like the wall that I was seeing. Watch this game. Let's see, it says, When the whirlpool galaxy spins in the distant heavens, a whirlpool shall open up below. Ah, uh, I see. Right. Yeah, so we've got to find the constellation and then probably draw it. That whirlpool picture kind of looks like a windmill or something. Why is this place called Watcher's Cape anyway? The view's nothing to write home about. Well, oh wait, no, wrong one. Uh, this. Okay. Uh, do I have to do this? This, maybe? What do I do in the sky? Or am I supposed to be like looking for it? Seeing anything? Windmill. Yeah, I mean, is that just a misdirect, or are you like actually trying to imply that I need to create a wind? Let me read the. Let me read this again. When the whirlpool galaxy spins in the distant heavens, a whirlpool shall open up below. So. Do I just draw it in the sky? Do I have to draw this shape? So that, that feels like weirdly complex in terms of the shapes this game has been using. Is that it? No? Maybe I draw that on the ground? Or am I doing it the wrong way? I feel like I get the idea that the game is going for, but I... I'm doing something wrong. Is there like a specific spot I need to do it at, or...? Hey. 
do not trust that. Let me go speak to this guy again. I'm here in the hope that I'll be able to make a wish. But shooting stars are rare now, not like before. If only a star would shoot across the night sky, then I could make a wish upon it. You wish upon a star, it always comes true. Huh. Stand next to me and help me look for shooting stars. There you go. Oh, shooting star. I've got to make my wish right now. I wish that the sky was as magnificent as it was in the, in the past, and that the Whirlpool Galaxy was visible again. Okay, sure. That's it, the Whirlpool Galaxy. My wish really did come true. That's like a weirdly arbitrary, like, extra step. But sure, it's cool looking at least. So now do we draw over it? Well, maybe I can just stand here and know. Wow, check out that whirlpool of stars. It's like a huge windmill in the night nice sky. They say the whirlpool galaxy is the key to the dragon palace. If so, then the whirlpool entrance should be somewhere under it. Hmm. The sea looks pretty calm to me, and the whirlpool galaxy isn't even swirling. What do we gotta do to make that whirlpool entrance appear? Blow it? With the with the wind? Yeah, cool. I think you're onto something. Maybe we're supposed to blow that starry whirlpool whip round and round. Try it again. Keep using that wind power. Yep. Probably three times. Uh wait. Oh. That wasn't even the right way, but I guess it works. That's cool. Look! The Whirlpool entrance. Oh, the Whirlpool entrance to the Dragon Palace. The Whirlpool Galaxy is bringing it to the surface. Okay, I Ami, mean, it's about time we got on down to that Dragon Palace. Let's go teach those Dragonians a lesson. They're gonna pay for not keeping that Water Dragon on a leash. I'm, I'm sure they have their reasons. Don't be so quick to assume. You silly little guy. Uh, I'm gonna assume that Orca is still where I left him. So I'm gonna head back over there. Please be here. He is not here. This is terrible news. Okay, he probably went back to the uh... The, like, the dock where I saw him originally. Or the pier, I should say. So I guess we'll go over there now. Come on. That's another thing with like the brush techniques. I I understand why they kept it simple. Because obviously like some people might struggle to draw certain things or you know. When the drawings start getting more complex, people might have a hard time. But like assigning like so many different things to just like a circle or a stroke. I do wonder if they could have, uh, they could have figured something else out. Like, I don't think, I think there was more room to do, use more interesting shapes without it getting too complicated. Is I guess what I'm trying to say. Okay. Bubble time. Dang, it is a big whirlpool. Here we go. Look at us. Very pretty. Finally, Ami. We made it through that whirlpool down to the bottom of the sea. This must be the Dragon Pass in the Kingdom of the Dragonians. Their leader, Otohime, controls the water dragon. We'd better not let our guard down. 
I know what Otto means. I know Hime means princess. So I'm assuming Otto just means something related to the the ocean or the deep sea. to sell, I guess. Yeah, so I don't think we actually have that many brush techniques left. I think it's like two? Uh, yeah, just two. Cool. Hold you, white beast! What business do you have in the Dragon Palace? Are you talking to us? The, Dr the Dragonian Kingdom is no place for land dwellers. State your name. Who do you think you are talking to us like that? Besides, you're the ones who let that water dragon run, run amok. I'm Isun, wandering artist and protector of Queen Himiko, ruler of Seiyan City. Now hurry up and go fetch your he your leader, Otohime, for me. Chop chop. I have no time for, for lowly servants. Himiko? Queen Himiko from Seiyan City? Then that white beast must be... Hey, what are you two babbling on about? You gotta go, you gonna go get Odohime or not? This way, O oh beast of white. Her Royal Highness will receive you in the throne room. Cool. is eerily similar to the uh, <laughs> the other palace or oh, not palace but like the was it the birds they had a similar thing going on has your journey here tired you oh esteemed guest of Otohime it's been decades since we had a land dwelling visitor here and a lupin guest at that I must say this is quite unusual I don't know if it's lupin or lupine hmm because I think like canine, feline, lupine, that would make sense to me. I don't know. I guess we'll look around a little bit. Secret. Bombs. I'm an esteemed guest and I'm going to blow this place up. Cool. Oh, another spring, really? Wow. Oops. See, that's what I mean with like the circles. You wouldn't run into the issue of like constantly doing the wrong brush technique if there weren't so many techniques that use like the same or like extremely similar. Um, Drawings. And this isn't a spring, I guess, because it's just like a little loot area. Okay, back up we go. I still just head like straight up. There is a couple extra spaces, but spaces? A couple extra like rooms. Um also this is like the same layout as the other place. Weird. Very strange. Huh? Oh, it's you. Otohime invited you, right? But what on earth does she want with a wolf? At any rate, she's upstairs in the throne room right now. Okay. Is that this? Probably. Oh. Oof. Oh. Since when do they let dogs into the Dragon Palace? Still, I'm not one to turn my nose up as a customer, even a dog. This is the palace's treasure vault, and I'm the vault keeper. But everything's got its price, see? 
Want to buy anything? Sure. You got anything cool? Oh, it's just the regular shop. <laughs> Great. I'm glad. Um, maybe this one? It is a few and far between here. Presumably the guards allowed you in here then. I see. You're no ordinary wolf, are you? No doubt you're part of some plan Odahime has devised. You'd better hurry to the throne room and meet with her. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying. It's a work in progress. I'm, I'm not going to bother speaking to everyone. Is it just straight ahead? She said upstairs. Oh, is it this? Okay. Oh, I think she, she might have said above. That's fair enough. Yeah, it really is the exact same as the, uh, the birds. Are there going to be more races like this then, or is it just these two? Very odd. Welcome, both of you. Welcome to the Dragon Palace. You are in the kingdom of the Dragonians now. I couldn't care less who or what you are. Isun, bro, chill. Uh, Isun, why? <laughs> what is your problem, bro? That's your leader, right? Well, we have some choice words for her. Yes, it is I, Otohime. Ruler of the Dragon Palace and leader of the Dragonians. Leader of the Dragonians, Otohime. Mm, uh, uh, um, anyway, we wanted to ask you something. You know that water dragon that's been running amok lately? It's under your control, right? Well, why don't you keep that thing on a leash? What's with sending your emissary to come get us? Are you really that desperate? Mm. The Dragonians are prepared to do whatever is necessary. Amaterasu, origin of, the, of all that is good and mother to us all. What the? You know about Ami? The water dragon is our guardian deity and protector of the seas. It kept the peace by pacifying chaos wherever it reared its head. But that all changed just one month ago when the Fire Nation attacked. Oni Island, the dark place of ancient legend, suddenly appeared. Evil beings swarmed into the sea and laid siege to the Dragon Palace. We mustered our forces to battle, but the enemy was too strong. Most of our realm fell into the hands of the forces of darkness. It was then that the water dragon appeared. With overwhelming strength, it routed the enemy's forces. But the enemy leader, the Dark Lord, had unimaginable powers. The water dragon nearly fell in the face of his onslaught. So grave were his wounds that he flew into an uncontrollable rage. The dark forces then pulled back from the sea, leaving behind these chaotic waters plagued by the rampaging dragon. So you're saying that control of the water dragon? We never had control of the water dragon. It is our guardian deity. But its madness now endangers us as much as anyone else. You've got to be kidding me. The water dragon is supposed to break the barrier on Oni Island. What hope do we have of attacking the enemy if it won't help us? Indeed, there is little hope left. It appears that all has gone as the Dark Lord planned. Okay, awesome. Great conversation. Would you like to listen to Her Royal Highness once more? Yes, please. The Water Dragon is out Yeah, Is it all the same stuff? Really? Why did it, why did it show the little green arrow that, like, has more information? Huh. Really? Oh. We can't break the barrier on only island without the water dragon. Himika prayed so long and hard to locate that dang island. Now we can't even get on it. 
Come on, Ami, you're a god, ain't you? Don't you have some secret weapon hidden up your sleeve? Please, wait. It is true we cannot control the water dragon. However, there is still a way to harness its power. There is? Then why didn't you just say so? It is a deed of last resort and fraught with grave danger. Alas, it is beyond our power. That is why we summoned you, Amaterasu. You probably want us to go tie a leash around the dragon, right? Well, we're not going to do anything crazy like that. It's not like we couldn't pull it off or anything. Right, Ami? I mean, Orca would probably help us out, right? His deed of last resort is as follows. You must retrieve the dragon orb. Dragon orb? What's that? They really just made me listen to the whole thing again, so that Isun would say something different. <laughs> Why? What was, what was the point? So you're, so you're saying we can just forget about the water dragon and go hunt for the dragon orb thing? Sounds like a piece of cake. I mean, we're treasure hunting pros. We already know the location of the dragon orb. It lies in the belly of the water dragon. You must enter the water dragon's body. Okay, so it's Jabu Jabu. Again. Come again? The dragon orb is- uh, the, the, the. the dragon orb is the essence of the water dragon's power. With it in my possession, I could easily break through the barrier that protects Oni Island. Will you not enter the water dragon through its gaping jaws and re retrieve the dragon orb that lies deep in its belly? With it, I could- you just said that. <laughs> now wait just a second, lady. Go get some orb from the water dragon's stomach? Are you nuts? That is the only way left to break the barrier on Oni Island. Yep, you said that already. Oh, a slow down there, sister. I mean, I make it- I make it habit of never- okay. But if my boss here says no, there ain't much I can do. Well, we're gonna- yeah, we are. I don't- They keep doing this, and I don't know what the point is. It just feels really weirdly extra. And it doesn't really add anything to the interaction. Oh, great Amaterasu, your compassion is truly as deep as the sea. And you are ever quick to decide. This amulet will allow you to enter the water dragon's garden. Garden? Water dragon's garden? That is correct. The water dragon makes its lair in a garden here at our palace. Here at this palace? That thing lives here? It does, but it will not attack us as long as we leave it be. I doubt we would come out alive if we entered its lair. But I truly believe that Amaterasu can retrieve the dragon orb. I shall pray for your safe return. Okay, cool. Look at the mess we're in now. Why are you always so eager to please? Oh, forget it. Let's go get that barrier breaking orb. The water dragon's garden should be around here somewhere. If it's anything like the, uh... The bird place, it's probably... Wow, I'm yawning a lot today. <laughs> it's probably over here. Oh, you've got a shell amulet? So you have the permission of Otohime? Forgive my rudeness, you may pass. Yeah, I think tonight is gonna be like my first night in a couple weeks where I just like don't set an alarm and just sleep as long as my body feels like it needs to. And it is gonna be so good. These guys go. Wow. Crazy. Uh, right, what are we doing? Can I reach that? I don't think so. No. Is this where I need to be? I think it is. I guess I should probably talk to these guys then. Spring forth, spring, la la la. Spring, sp yeah, okay. Uh... uh yeah, it's just him being weird. Do they have anything you need to say, or is that it? They're just trying to make a spring? Uh... Oh. Okay. Water dance. Smash through the rock. If we hit water, that would get the spring. Well, I can't dig because I don't have the mitts. There's some seriously hard rock here. 
But I bet you could dig through it if you practice enough. Yeah, so I need... I don't remember where the... Uh... I didn't, I didn't think that would be like a necessary item. That's interesting. I don't remember where the... Um... Where it was that I had to buy them. I think it might have been uh, the Emperor. Just to save time, I'm gonna Google it because I know for a fact I've seen it before. Um, let me just tell that really quickly. Um, Okami, dig through rock. It's a dojo item. Right, okay. It's from... I believe it's from the second dojo we found, not the first one. Uh, is there like a warp point here? It doesn't seem like it for now. That's fine. Right, so I guess we can go to like the shop and sell a bunch of stuff. Because I don't think I'll have enough money at the moment. And then we can head to, I think it was the dojo where we got the double jump. Yippee. Be great if we could find a shop on the way as well, because I don't think I can sell stuff at the at the dojo. I'll save as well whilst I'm here. This game really does just like keep on going. Like the the pace has been fairly consistent and I don't really know if it's gonna slow down. Like maybe Oni Island is our like end goal? It could be. But then there's like, there's other stuff on the map, so... Maybe not. <laughs> it's really hard to tell. So there's the dojo that we need to get to. I don't think Orko is uh, usable in this part of the map. Or I would guess probably not anyway. Okay. Yes. So, treasures. I don't know how much I need, but I'm just gonna pick a few things. I'll just keep like one of everything. We got up to 100k. That should be enough. The double jump makes getting across water so much easier. It is very nice. Okay. Hopefully it's not too expensive. Digging chap, it's 30k. Is there anything else that I want to get? Uh, oh, this. I think I do actually want that. And then these. That will increase attack power, that might be useful. And then it's weird, weird god techniques. Okay, digging champ. 
I really don't think they needed to uh, to do these for every single upgrade. Like this one is fairly self-explanatory. Now I can dig through rocks. I don't know if I needed the whole song and dance. Digging. Dig on rock. I did understand. Okay. On guard. I'm gonna beat the heck out of this rock. Wow, I did it. <laughs> Good job. Okay. So we could either get... Because I think I have 70k. Um, so I don't have enough for both of the 40k ones. But we could either get... Uh, this one to add an attack to my combo. Or this one which increases attack power. Um... I don't really know if the combo is super helpful. Like, I don't know if adding an extra attack is going to make a difference. I think the attack power might be the, the better pick. Because I have a reflector equipped as a as the sub weapon. Technique. Equip reflectors. Both. Oh, oh, I misread it. Whoops. I didn't understand the explanation. <laughs> Whoops. I bought the wrong one. I need to have a reflector in both the main and the. Um. And the the sub slot. Oh, okay, I have to do it. Uh, Snarling Beast, sure. Yay, we did it. Okay. Well, I bought the wrong one, but oh well, I guess. I don't think it would have made a huge difference anyway. What is important is that we got the digging thing. Okay, I think I'm gonna pause for a second. Um, I'm feeling a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go and grab like a small snack. Um, and then we will we will head back to the dragon palace and do the digging thingy there. But yeah, I will be back in a few minutes.
Okay. Why is it ending? Hello. Test, 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 test. I think we're fine. For some reason I've been noticing like it just doesn't it like for a second it just like won't pick anything up. And then it'll fix itself. I assume it's fine. <laughs> right. I'm gonna I'll switch back to the the streaming scene. I'm just gonna sit on this menu for a second whilst I have my snack. Um, yeah. Um, I presume... I'll tell you what, I can, I can start walking back there whilst I snack. Um, I presume the, uh... Oh, I need to... Hold on. Mm. I'm guessing what's gonna happen is the, uh... The water dragon is gonna be, like, the next... The next dungeon. Also, yes, I'm playing with one hand at the moment. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so we'll probably do, like, the water dragon dungeon question mark. And maybe get another ability out of that. And then o Oni Island for the last one. And then either Oni Island is the end of the game, or like... It's like the penultimate dungeon or something? Would be my guess? I'm not really sure. Oh, what am I doing? That's not what I need to do. Wait, I just- why did I walk here? <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I really hope Orca spawns here, because otherwise I don't know how I'm getting back. I'll probably save. Please be here. Yo. I don't see Orca. This is awkward. <laughs> awkward. That was unintentional, but you know what? I'll learn it. It was pretty hype. Okay, I have no idea where would be the best place to go. So, I mean, presumably we want to get Orca first, but it seems like he doesn't spawn <laughs> everywhere. I'm guessing like whenever the game unloads him, he just like defaults back to up here. Which makes sense, I guess. Oh, I guess I'll drown. Let me wait for a second for it to recharge. So I don't just immediately die. Oh. Well. I guess this was bound to happen. This might be a good thing, actually. It'll get me back quicker. Oh, 
Whoa. I thought we were goners. Yep. Yeah, we should forget about this whole swimming in the sea business. You're right. I'm going the wrong way. It's over here. Oh, clean. Alright, please just leave me alone, Water Dragon. I would really appreciate that. We'll deal with you later. save. Oh, whoops. Let me just check if yes is good. Yeah, it seems fine. Try up spring, doggy. Hoping to smash the rock under the spring to find water, are you? You must have a good nose on you. That was my plan, too. Come on then, doggy. Help me dig down into the spring. We'll see if we can smash through the rock and revive the spring. Sure. Oh, a digging minigame. My favorite. Uh, oh, I hit the wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> Yep, 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 I understand. Here we go. Someone, someone on the team making this game really liked this particular one. Oh, what? We're, we're starting from the bottom? And now we're here? <laughs> okay. So I have to make a path from the bottom to, uh, to come down through. I mean, that's, that's an interesting twist on the idea. I appreciate that. Um... Which way would be the right way to go, though? Because I can't slash these, can I? Ah. The answer is no. How do I break these ones? It's like I can't slash this. So how does how does one break it? I do not comprehend. Top or like anything? The tips give me anything useful? Various celestial brush techniques to break rocks in progress. I mean, they're showing bombs. This is this is also this would have shown me how to um different things, so I probably should have read this. 
Okay, the bomb might help. Let's find out. Yes, it does. Okay, awesome. Once I've done all this, I'm gonna have to lead her down. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> it fell a long way as well, so like... It's probably gonna take a while. extra time, but it's something. Let me attack. Oh, uh, come on. Tricky jumps. And break this one. Imagine if this worked as intended. That would be so crazy. There we go. I mean, I'm sure it probably does work as intended, and I'm just bad at drawing it. But, oh well. <laughs> Oh great, I'm out again. Oh, I can just place it here. Nope. be close. Yeah, okay, there we go. How do I get you up? Oh, am I just gonna have to take you down this way? Oh, I am, aren't I? That sucks. Oh, I can just dig. I completely forgot about that. Okay, we gotta hurry. Come on, regenerate. Stand up, please. Please get up. Okay. <sighs> oh. We don't have time. Are you kidding me? She's not gonna follow me down here. Oh, that sucks. How are you meant to do that in time? Alright, well, we can maybe do it a little bit faster, but like, come on. So janky trying to navigate through here. 
10. Wow, I don't know how I'd interpreted that correctly. Come on. Why is it that I draw the most like ridiculous looking thing and it, and it knows, yeah that was a bomb. And then I draw the bomb symbol how you're meant to draw it and the game goes, nope, that's not a bomb. I don't understand. The camera angle is so awkward for like the drawing. I think this is, this is a really cool concept. Just in practice, it's like really tedious and not super fun. Then you just have to wait because like uh, there's only so much like skills I can do at a time. Which is also just like a weird arbitrary restriction, like I don't really feel like it adds to the uh, to the game particularly. Like I haven't really felt like I needed to like manage my resources in, in any of the other fights. And like I think the only effect it really has here is that like every now and then I just have to like wait around for 20 seconds. Maybe not 20 seconds, but like, I don't know. It's just a little irritating. There we go. I think we're making better time, so far at least. Uh... Please stay up here, bomb. Do not move. I will not let you. Okay, we're so close. Come on. And we have to wait again. Pausing for a second because I'm still eating my snacks. <laughs> I'm almost done. Okay, now we dig straight down. Minecraft taught me nothing. Can I dig through these now that I got the upgrade? No. Great. I'm not gonna bother getting the time. I don't think it's it's worth it. We wait. <clears throat> That's fine. Oh no, I can't attack. It just I can't attack in the air, I guess, is what was happening. Please come down this way. I was worried she would just get like stuck up at the top. I think we got it this time. I think this is almost at the bottom. Come on. Okay, we did it. I really hope that is the last one of those digging mini games we have to do. I smashed right through that rock. And look at that, the spring is gushing again. Mm. Uh. 
the spring's running again, but what? What, 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 what is wrong? This isn't good. The swelly welly is missing. The well's gone? Exactly. It's the swelly welly that's kept us all in good health up to now. Without it, we'd lose the will to live. Anyway, enough. Just whining about it's not going to help, is it? Everyone, we've got to summon the swelly welly back again. We'll transfer our passion and enthusiasm into the spring. By running around it as fast as we possibly can. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> cool. All that is good and lovely to us all. Followers in need and your own pure heart have restored my power. I, Nerigami, have a new power to bestow upon you. I have harnessed the fervent energy of those in need to create the power called Fountain. Use it well. Oh, cool. It's the second to last one as well. Yeah, right on, woohoo! The Swirly Willies return to the spring, and now I can walk back here, I guess. The Swirly Willies spring's real name is the Swelling Spring. It's a portal that the Dragonians made to connect to the land. If you jump in when it's swelling, you can go to different places. Sometimes we girls use it to get out and have some fun on land. Oops, you won't tell Otohime about that, will you? Anyway, thanks for all your help. Here, have this. You'll be surprised at what's inside. Oh. I knew it, brute, brute strength is the only answer in the end. From now on, the Dragon Palace's dance troops motto is mu uh, muscle. Oh, well, good luck with that. Boy, Ami, that's one mean brush you wield. Did the chest despawn? <laughs> I bet you could summon one of those travel whirlpools any time you want if you use that technique on a mermaid spring. Oh, I see. Now we can travel past Nippon for free. Guess it pays to help people every now and then. Interesting. So mermaid coins are just obsolete now. Okay. Cool. Water spout tech? What? Are they teaching me like the speed running skips? Where is that? Water spout tech. Draw a swell on the surface of a mermaid springs water. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's what it just taught us. Weird. So do I do that here now? Is it somewhere I need to go? I don't think there is. Wait, did I just like, was that completely optional? Is that, is that not the garden? Watch this be the garden. Oh, you've got a shell amulet? That means after Hime must have found you worthy. Forget my readers, Hime. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this one's the garden, isn't it? So did we just... I mean, it's not like a total waste of time, but... We did all that... For what? <laughs> oh, this is fun. Hmm? What the? It's that pesky water dragon. How many times did that rampaging sea monster almost finish us off? So it makes its home here, eh? That's one huge nasty looking mouth on that thing. Oh, it's just sticking its mouth up here? <laughs> like, a, like a crocodile? I think we could really go in there and come back out alive. I mean, we're not talking about the Emperor's stomach here. Well, here we go. Inside the dragon. Inside Jabu Jabu's belly. Well, here we are. This is the water dragon's stomach, huh? Is it just me or is it unbearably hot and humid in here? Hmm. With the way this dragon is running amok, I'm sure we'll see all sorts of gruesome things down here. I just hope I don't lose my lunch. Think we're really gonna find that dragon orb in here, Ami? I wanna know what he ate for lunch. Okay.
There is a surprising amount of treasure here. I dig it up. Yes. So I wonder if that whole thing we just did was entirely optional. Or if like I did actually need to do it and I just got it out of the way early. Oh well. I'm sure being able to warp from anywhere is like is gonna be pretty helpful. Well, anywhere that there is water. Again, I don't really know why I'm bothering to collect everything. I might stop doing that. That looks like a spot to bomb. Or is it just a light? I think it's just a light. Oh, it's this guy. Great, completely missed. You love to see it. If I fell off again from hitting it on the back, I would have been very upset. Oh my gosh. Of course this guy wants to attack me as well. Oh, and it's this one. Oh, and there's two of them. Yippee. Uh, where is it? Is it here? Oh, clean. That was so clean. the thing at me. Oh, I missed. Oh. That works too. Nice. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Nope, it's not gonna leave me alone. Oh, I don't think I fought this one before. Weird. I think that's happened a few times in this playthrough where we've, we fought a new enemy um, before it has had like an introduction cutscene. And I don't quite know how that works. Music is giving me uh, very big Zelda vibes. Is this class as a dungeon? No, it's quite linear actually. 
Wait, dude, is this a bus arena coming up? Uh, it's hard to tell actually. Let's save. Actually, I think we do still have two brush techniques left. Because I think that one we just got was like a an extension of the water sprout. Yeah, water sprout, water spout. Yes, yeah, so we still have two. Okay. So we're, we're trying to get the dragon orb from here, which will then allow us to get to Oni Island and, I don't know, defeat the big bad. Hmm. Need a key. Uh, it's probably in one of the shells, if I had to guess. Or it maybe could be up here. Seems a little tedious, I'm gonna guess no. Oh, there it is. It's easy enough. Yum. Wow, nailed it. Okay, now we head back up. all the way, but it'll do. I think. Yeah, nice. Please don't attack. No! Oh. I definitely got the um the jankiness of doing platforming. Very accurate to how it feels in a Zelda game. Which is somehow even more impressive considering the fact that this game has like a dedicated like jump button and stuff. Whereas like in older Zeldas it was just like your way to jump was by running off of a ledge. Which I think also works in this game. It's key time. Oh. What's that? It's all tangled up in this flabby stomach muscle. Looks like a glass ball or something. Isen is so incredibly stupid. It is impressive. What's over here? Why is the camera being weird? Dead end. I don't know where we are now, but I don't like the look of that red liquid though. It'd probably digest us in a second if we fall in. Great, stomach acid. Awesome. Yuck, it's all squishy squashy. What's with that bright yeah? Oh well. Unless I can use it. Cool. Oh, that worked. What the heck are you doing? That red liquid is raining down now. What happened if that fleshy mess dissolves? Hmm. Now you got me interested too. Hunger tissue. I'm guessing this is optional. I don't know. Or maybe I have to do this first to like f free the orb. And I just 
didn't interact with the orb yet. Lovely. What the? The whole place is flooded with that icky red liquid. We came to find the dragon orb, not to end up lunch. Your, you said it, Bucko. Okay, fortunately it's not an insta kill. Thanks, camera. <laughs> Thank you for just spontaneously changing. I appreciate the camera change. Don't get me wrong. It makes it makes these platforming bits a little bit easier. But doing it abruptly when I mid jump is not cool. At least something about this ball that's stuck here. But thanks to you, this whole place is covered in this red liquid. We're gonna get digested alive. Yeah, okay, so we... We gotta, um... I don't know what it exactly it wants me to break. I'm guessing just like the tentacles around the... Or like the tendrils. Oh! No, these two. Yes? Oh, did it purify the dragon as well? That'd be pretty sick. You obtained dragon orb. Nice work, Emmy. <laughs> we finally got that dragon orb. Now we should be able to break the barrier on Oni Island. Once Himiko locates the island on her crystal ball, the enemy's stronghold will be totally exposed. Your Boy, you sure had a hard time pulling that orb out. I wonder if the dragon's gonna be okay. Let's go, Emi. I mean, we got the orb. No use sticking around here. Oh, boss fight? Ooh. What the heck? Are these the vengeful spirits of the people the dragon gobbled up? No, wait. These aren't spirits. That weird color can only mean one thing. Foxfire. What? <laughs> okay, it's Matrix time. Oh, what? New enemy? Oh, cool. This is fun. I got no idea what's going on, but it's cool, I guess. Foxes don't howl. I don't think. Okay, there's like a lot going on on the screen, it's a little difficult to tell. Uh oh. That's one down. Is that two down? Uh, 
Nice. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's probably like eight total. I should have seen that coming. Fortunately, they seem to take a lot of damage from like the slice attack, so I can just keep spamming that as soon as I have the energy for it. There we go. So I'm guessing it's going to be these two and then another set of three. Unfortunately, when you like gang up on them, they don't seem to be able to do a whole lot. Nice. The last three? Yep. These guys suck. Stop draining my uh, my energy, or whatever it's called. I don't really have a means to like disable them all at the same time, so I kind of just need to be fast. combos. Getting them all in one. This guy's almost done. Alright. I think these two are both pretty low health. This one. Hey, okay, last one. Oh yeah, he's so close to being done. Nice. That's an interesting fight, I guess. Rods. What the heck was that? It was kind of freaky. Looked like a bundle of bamboo tubes or something. I know. I bet those are the fox rods that- oh right, yeah I remember. You know, that ultimate weapon against the Dark Lord. So they just like magically appeared. Awesome. Oh I guess he like ate it. That probably makes sense. He should have tried to pull that orb out more gently. Uh oh. Huh? I'm too young to be digested. Let's get out of here. Yo. Do I gotta run? Yes, I gotta run. Wait, <laughs> I wanna check whilst we're running. Is it an equipable weapon? Is that like a key item? Yes. Souls of nine foxes? Oh. I thought it was eight. I guess I miscounted. Go! Oh. Going this way. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that sucks so bad. That was like the worst time that could have happened. Oh. There's the exit. 
We got plenty of time. Nice. supposed to do. We have the dragon orb, but no water dragon for it to control. No matter how hard Himiko tries to locate Oni Island, without that dragon, there's no way we can break the barrier. He's fine. Hey, something's coming. Bro, we just getting like a new ability. Oh. Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I'm afraid there's no time left for me to speak now, but I do need to thank you. What for? And who are you anyway? I am King Wada. The 27th King of the Dragonians. Did they like... Do they like mature into the water dragon or something? King of the Dragonian? So then you were that water dragon? It was I, the water dragon, god of the sea, ruler of the deep. Oh great god Amaterasu. As you well know, there are ill om omens heralding the coming of great strife throughout Nippon. Even the Dragonians have suffered under the forces of darkness. They seek to prevent me from using my power. The power to break the barrier that protects Oni Island. I waged battle against the Dark Lord and consumed the dark instrument he wielded. That's the Fox Roads, right? But the instrument lodged in my stomach and drove me to madness. Instrument of the Dark Lord? You mean this thing? Yes, the Fox Rods. Without the Fox Rods, the Dark Lord has limited power. Now all of the monsters are doing everything they can to locate them. I see. They're like a key to his power or something. I can rest easy knowing they are in your hands, Amaterasu. I also ask that you give my wife, Otohime, the Dragon Orb. It is the heart of the dragon. It will bring peace to my people. Alas, my end is near. I have slain many innocents while in the, gri while in the grip of madness. I pray that their souls may rest in peace in these watery depths. These deep blue waters the people of Ryoshima coast so dearly love. Farewell, Amaterasu. I shall pray for your good fortune. There he goes. Again, so let's see. Oh. Oh, the Korea's water dragon thrashing about in the straw. So I hurried here to the dragon palace, just in case. Oh, you don't have to worry about us. I mean, nothing can stop what Ami here. Not fire, not water, not... Tell me, Amaterasu. 
What happened to the water dragon? Did he reveal the secret of penetrating Oni Island? Hey, it's not nice to interrupt. I was on a roll. Anyway, the water dragon was actually the Dragonian King. He turned into a dragon to protect the Dragon Palace. He even snatched these fox rods from their boss. You found the fox rods? Come to think of it, when you looking for the for these? Aren't they the ultimate weapon against the evil beings? Hey, wait a sec. What about what you said about the fox rods? You know, about the ship sinking before they reached Himiko. Why did we search that stupid ship if they weren't really there? If you're still upset that I put you in danger, I'm sorry. But time is of the essence now. Give me the fox rods, quickly. Now you just hold your- okay. I mean, if those monsters are frantically searching for them, for them whoever has them will have a huge bullseye on their, on their back. Wow, that was easy. Amaterasu? I hope you know what you're doing, you big fubble. It's an airy light they get out here, yeah, somehow alluring. With this, my holy powers will reach their limit. I can destroy every last demon there is. Protecting Queen Himiko with this great power, that is my duty. Don't worry, Amaterasu. I must hurry back to the city now. I shall honor my duty with my life. She goes. Where even are we? With your life? Don't go getting yourself killed. Oh, she's gone. Oh, we're here. Hey, Emmy. Quit spacing out. We gotta deliver that dragon orb we got from the water dragon to Orihime right away. We probably can't count on the power of the water dragon anymore, but the Dragonians still consider the dragon orb as their treasure. We better return it to them. L. Alright, well, I guess we'll do that now. See that you are unharmed. And what of the dragon orb? Ta da! You retrieved the dragon orb from the dragon's body? I have no words to express my gratitude. Now that I have the dragon orb, I can harness the power of the water dragon and break the barrier around Oni Island. About the water dragon. It sunk to the bottom of the sea when we took that orb thing. Does that mean the king of the dragon dragonians is... I mean... Is that king of the dragonians really your... Yes, it is true. The water dragon was King Wada, my husband. He performed the ancient Dragonian rite of transformation in order to battle the forces of darkness. But he was gravely wounded and flew into an uncontrollable rage. If the king is dead, then the law of succession must be fulfilled. Is she gonna transform another dragon and do it? That'd be sick as heck. The dragon orb had to be recovered, whatever the cost. And alas, the cost was the king's life. Hear me, Ison. As I have said before, the Dragonians have the resolve to do whatever is necessary. We mustn't hesitate. Uh... Now then, Amaterasu, 
What of the dark instrument of the Dark Lord? Surely you found it lodged in the water dragon's belly. Oh, you mean the fox rods? I mean Himiko's attendant took it. She said something about using its power against the evil beings. Himiko's attendant? It is true the dark instrument has unfathomable power. But evil beings are doing all in their power to find it too. I truly hope this attendant you speak of is trustworthy. All hope would be lost if it fell back into evil hands. Yikes, what's up with this thing? A revelation, perhaps. Perhaps King Wado wishes us to see something before he departs. Oh, she's being attacked. By, by Kurama? I think that's his name. It's been a while since I watched Naruto. Who could have foreseen this? Do you have any idea what that vision meant? Come on, Ami. Yeah, we gotta go. Where are you going, Amaterasu? No time to explain now. We gotta get over to Ankoku Temple, quick! Remember, Amaterasu, there is still hope. I shall wait here for Queen Himiko's revelation. Let us meet once again wherever Oni Island may appear. May the God of, S of Sea watch over you. Okay, we got a shmoo. Come on. Ba, 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 ba. He saved actually. Hey, back up we go. <laughs> to hurry. Anchor the temple. That was. Uh Was it Oh yeah, yeah it's it's the temple that I checked at the beginning of the stream. Let me go around this actually, it's probably faster. Doesn't make sense. Surely she would have. She would have had to have passed by the city to get there, unless she got like chased away. But I don't know how realistic that is. Also, I 100% could have just walked there, but it's fine. We don't want to ruin the energy. <laughs> Temple. See if I can go to the save point before we uh before we head there. Oh, 
Thanks. Let's head in. she die? Oh, she's gone. Is she a spirit now? She wants us to follow? You see that? She went right through the wall. Yeah, I also saw there's a sick treasure chest here, so I'm gonna take that first. That's cool. Has that always been there? I'm guessing probably not, but... Oh. Who would have thought there'd be a secret passage here? You feel the draft coming out of the well? It must lead to that... Very nice lady, or I'm a monkey's uncle. Hurry, Amy. Leave before you think, right? Here. Tell me you. Oh. Hey, there's a body here. Wow, it looks like it's been laying here forever. There's nothing but bones and some clothing left. Now, where have I seen clothes like that before? Yeah, that's a little sussy. Little bit suspicious. Um, what is this? Northern land. Let me read that. Um, travel guide? The evil demons that, th that flourish throughout the land, no matter how many are defeated, their numbers do not thin, and the burden they place on human hearts does not dissipate. These foul fiends come from a land far to the north of Nippon. From there they infiltrate a land and po perpetuate nefarious acts. The northern lands are feared as a breeding ground of for evil. For many years, Nippon has severed itself from the land to the north, an unclean land where evil runs wild without restraint. However, it is also said that all, all of creation originated in the north. Or in like Hokkaido? <laughs> this lead to the, the city? Was it like a secret passage? Oh yeah, it's the palace. I think. Huh? Isn't this Himiko's palace? Why is there a tunnel from Ankaku Temple to here? She was being sneaky. Oh. Your Majesty, Queen Himiko. Hey, what the heck happened? She passed out. Yo. Oh. That's saving. Oh. This looks bad. Oh. Huh? What the 
heck happened? Hey, pretty lady, Himiko. She's... she's dead. It was terrifying. A monster ten times my height appeared. Destroyed the magical barrier and left Queen Himiko like that. I don't trust her. Is that you? What, what monster are you talking about? That ginormous thing that attacked you at Ongoku Temple? I'm... I'm scared now. The evil beings we must defeat to save the people in the city. Their leader is such a mighty beast. No human could stand up to it. Our feeble mortal resistance is futile. Dang it. Himiko said she'd be okay as long as she had that crystal ball. So how the heck did this happen? Hey, Ami, why'd you keep staring at the... Yeah, she's, she's real sussy. Himiko's dead, aren't you the least bit sad? What's wrong, Ami? Amaterasu? What are you doing? Down, Ami! Have you lost your mind? Are you in the grip of the evil curse as well? Huh? Kanji Saibo Zatsu Yo Jin Han Nya Hara Mi Taji Shoken Go on Kai Ku Do is Sai Ku Yaku. Uh oh. <laughs> She's got the anime eye. What, what the? What's up with those freaky eyes of yours? You're freaking me out. <laughs> well, carrying on with this any longer would spoil the fun. You are a cunning beast, Amaterasu. I lured you to the treasure ship as bait for the water dragon. As you escaped and managed to get your paws on the lucky mallet. You even cleared the city of the poison mist. You also started searching for Oni Island to bring down my fortress. And you even managed to tame the mighty water dragon. But, but... But now that the water dragon has gone, my fortress is impregnable. And Himiko is but a lifeless corpse. You'll never know where Oni Island is now. <laughs> Luck must be on my side. Occupying the body of this priestess, Rao, made it so simple. Oh, so she's not actually evil, or...? Breaking Himiko's magical barrier was easy once I got close to her. I mean, where's... the lady we know and love? It's all thanks to this item you got back from the water dragon. All because the fox rods are mine once again. Amaterasu, you foolish beast. To think that you parted with this mighty source of mag magic so easily. Know that it was you who revived the power of the Dark Lord. Oh, we're fighting? Oh, cool. Oh, that's so cool. She's really the Dark Lord? The Grand Master of Evil Beings? The fox rods made the crystal ball's barrier shatter like glass. Oh, if only you'd been here to see Himiko die. I think I'll take the crystal ball with me in the event that one of your pathetic friends tries to locate me. Yummy. And if I deal with you now too, Amaterasu, nothing will stand in the way of my world of evil beings. Ami, remember the Dragonian King's revelation? He was showing us how Foxface here killed the real- Oh. She's dead? She's- she's dead? I thought she was just like, being mimicked. Boy, she's a real good faker, she had me totally fooled. And look what she did to poor little Himiko. Well, at least we won't have to worry about Oni Island anymore. We're gonna finish you off right here. I don't think we are, but okay. Oh, she's angry. Well, here we go. Attack. Okay, that's a cool weapon. I'm guessing I'll get it afterwards. 
Whoa. Whoops. Get a counter. <laughs> Seems simple enough. Twice in a row, really? I'll take it. Ow. The counter, man. Is that possible? Hey, we have a no army. Let's finish off that fox headed wench. Oh. She's powering up. She's going fox mode. Whoa. Ignorant fools. Did you really think it would be that easy? I have powers beyond belief. Here is but a taste of what the Dark Lord can do. only the size of this room that saved you. It is far too small for me to unleash my true fury. However, resistance is futile, for your last remaining hope is gone. I shall now return to Oni Island and rally my dark forces. Then we'll go forth and crush all who stand against the darkness. Okay then. <laughs> well, that went well. Amaterasu had allowed the Dark Lord to slip away. The display of evil sent chills down the wolf's spine. Amaterasu and Isan were left to wallow in, the, in overwhelming sadness. Himiko had remained steadfast in her quest to find Oni Island. In the end, she lost her life at the hands of the Dark Lord. With Himiko died, <laughs> with Himiko dead, all clues to, oh right, with Himiko died all clues to the location of Oni, Oni Island. Amaterasu and Isan were left with nary a shred of hope. Giving up on their quest seemed the only option. That's when they noticed that the blood caked the blood caked crystal ball, spewed forth by the Dark Lord, clearly dispa displayed an image of Himiko. Isun, dancing his eyes, listened intently as Himiko began speaking. She explained that Oni Island would not be easy to find, and that she had determined to become ethereal and enter the crystal or herself, in search of clues. She had allowed herself to be consumed in order to use the Dark Lord's power. She was also aware that the Dark Lord now possessed the Fox Rods. All was planned. Himiko's will infused the Crystal Ball with great power. The fortress housing the Dark Forces materialized. Oni Island appears only at sunset in a certain location. The place revealed by the crystal ball was none other than a spot just off the northwest shore of Ryoshima coast, near the spot known as Watcher's Cape. Uh, yeah, I know what that is. 
Oni Island would appear again at Watcher's Cape at the next sunset. A small glimmer of hope returned to our heroes' hearts. Just as the image of Oni Island faded from the crystal, a deep crack appeared and split Himiko's image. She had paid the ultimate price for manipulating the dark power. The crystal itself had been spent. The destiny of Himiko's very soul had been inextricably intertwined with that of the crystal ball. A burst of blinding light heralded the crystal the crystal's demise. Himiko's soul was caught up in the shattered fragments and drifted serenely towards the heavens above, even as she prayed fervently for Amaterasu's safe passage. Wow. Big exposition dump. <laughs> they, they just didn't want to like, they didn't want to animate any of that. Ami, the sun's gonna set soon. Only island's gonna disappear. That revelation Himiko risked her life to tell us. Whatever we do, we can't let it go to waste. Who cares if we can't break the barrier on Oni Island? Let's make a beeline for Watch Escape, Ami. Yerp. It's time. Damn. She's just completely dead. Himiko. Can't be. Oh, it can. Wait, so... R Rao's just dead? She's just gone? <laughs> no body or anything? She's just been deleted? Wow. Okay then. This this is like feeling like it's ramping up to be the end. I can't tell. But we might beat the game tonight. I mean, if it feels like we're getting close to the end, I'm down to like extend this a little more. But I genuinely cannot tell. These guys don't know, do they? Hey, how'd you get in here? You could have let Queen Himiko down. Oh, buddy. You don't need to worry about Queen Himiko anymore. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, let's hurry. Could just walk. Maybe that would be quicker. Let's do that. Whoops. Why isn't it doing what I want it to? Hold on. Oh, not that one. Uh. What a spat attack. Draw swell. Oh, it, it's specifically on the mermaid springs. I'm just dumb. For some reason, I thought it was anywhere. Wow, oh, that's like really not super useful. Quite literally, its only function is to invalidate mermaid coins. What a strange way to just kill off Rao. I, ha I feel like she must not be dead, right? Like. Like, Isen just dropped that she was dead without, like, a, a second thought. That's pretty in character, to be honest. He's He objectifies women so much, he probably doesn't actually care that much. Here. It must be, we must be like, this This must be the ending, right? Like, the, the big final challenge? We've had loads of like big sacrifices, we, we've already reached like the lowest point in terms of like the narrative, um, the narrative shape. 
so like this would be the uh, this would be the climax. I'm guessing they're not gonna let me past. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I mean, wait, wait. How far do you plan on traveling using this thing? Oh, I don't use that. Oh, it just uh, uh, okay, sure. Okay. Is it still over there? No, it's moved. It's probably like right in front of here now, I guess. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh man. Awesome. Hello. How'd you ever find this place? I sensed Queen Himiko's fathomless regrets upon her last breath. It made its way to the distant halls of the Dragon Palace. Behold, the sun. Even now it sinks down beyond the sea. Once it is gone, so too shall Oni, Oni Island disappear. No one knows where it will appear next. And no art known to mortals can divine its location. That may be true, but listen. It really doesn't matter, because we can't break the barrier. I mean, the water dragon was our only hope, and it's dead now. The water dragon is not dead in the true sense of the word. I can harness its power with a sincere prayer to the dragon orb. Behold, Amaterasu. I, Otohime of the Dragonians, shall transform into a dragon, and break through the wall that divides. May I serve you as a divine bridge to the heavens. Princess transforming into a dragon? That sounds familiar. <laughs> wow, it even looks like the same. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> Is she making a bridge? That's really funny. <laughs> wow. Hello, oh, Amaterasu. You must cross while life yet courses through these veins. Okay. Hang in there. We'll be back in a jiffy. Sorry, Furball. Looks like millet dumplings aren't in your stars. What? You'll have to settle for kicking some monster butt on Oni Island. I don't even know what he was referencing with that, but sure. Go off, buddy. Here we go. Kimiko's probably watching over us, so promise me you won't give up for some stupid reason like you're hungry or you have to go to the bathroom. Are you ready? Okay, that that tells me this is for this is finale. I'm ready. I'm sure there's plenty of side content to do, but I don't really plan on doing that for this stream. Oh boy. Oh. Can I... Okay, cool. I was worried I couldn't do that for a second. Whoa. That looks nasty. Normally we'd be crispy critters if we touched that stuff. But it shouldn't be any different from water for you now, Ellie. 
Come on, how about some of that water magic of yours? Yes. Look at him go. What a good boy. So is this class as a dungeon or... I don't know how this is gonna work. It's literally called Demon Island, so... Checkpoint. So we just have to get up there. Question is, uh, how? We can go down there. I guess that's probably where we have to go first. Are there like multiple floors? Hmm. Wait, can I do lily pads? No. <laughs> it would have been funny if I could. Uh, let's go this way first. Uh-oh. Oof, that was close. Can I reach that from here? I bet I can with like a running jump. Yeah. Oh. There we go. I'll head over this way. This looks like something. Did we just have to get up? Was that was that what there was to it? Yeah, fair enough, I guess. It's over here. That's just where we came from. I wanna get that chest at least. I guess. Or it's like a mini bus, I'm not sure. like bomb their masks or something. That'd be kind of sick. These guys are tough. I'm gonna focus on the red. That guy first. Can I, can I use the fire? Oh. Let's see if I could, uh. Oh, there's, there are these. Can I, like, burn this guy? Oh. Nice. It's one down.
Ow. Maybe when he's like charging at the fire, I can like grab it. I'm not sure. Stop moving around. Doesn't seem like it. I'll just keep doing it the normal way. Almost there. That was easy enough. It's a money well. Too bad I'm not going to spend it. <laughs> Just check OBS is being normal. Yeah, we're all good. Ooh. Pony Island. You'd have to have a pretty warped mind to build a castle here. I bet those two-bit monsters think they're big shots living here. Let's teach them a lesson by fighting our way to the top and dragging that fox-headed wench down by the scruff of her neck. Damn. Damn, bro. Okay. Is that the shop? Yeah, we're still missing two, uh, two brush techniques, which is interesting. Who goes there? Hey, how'd you get in here? You ain't come to invade us, poor folk of Oni Island, have you? If you have, you got me to answer to. Fight to end all fights. And the best way to settle it, with a bit of business, of course. Sure. Uh... Oh, he just sells these for free? Well, for, for free. He just sells these in the regular shop. It's pretty considerate. I already have them both, but sure. Okay, so it looks like this needs a key. Yeah. And a light bulb. We got a few paws. So is this the dungeon? Yes, this is the dungeon. It also, like, it's... It's structured like a Zelda dungeon as well. Which the other ones kind of weren't. They were a lot more, um... Linear. This one might be a bit different. I recognize this. Wow, this door's really shut tight. Mm. It's got a pretty strange mark on it. How on earth would somebody open a door like this anyway? Recognize this. I need electricity. Do I have a weapon that does that? Um. I don't think so. I, I remember seeing an enemy that had a weapon like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Is it two of these guys? Are you kidding me? Uh, that sucks. I do not know what the strat is for these guys. Other than to like get good. What's going on? Oh, I got the parry. Sick. Put a bomb down. I did something. I feel like that's doing anything. That might be something. So I can burn this one. Ah, that did something. A lot, actually. Oh wow, that works out. It's 
cancel this stuff. What? Ah, weird. Well, the key's here, so I guess I'll take that. What, what that's meant to be, though. Okay, what is over here? Chest? I would like that chest. Hold on. I think I can make this. I just need to get a running start. is over this way. How far down are we going? Oof, pretty far. To the Labyrinth of Torment. Before playing in the Labyrinth of Torment, note the following. Step on the foot switch and the demon slip will start moving. Get through the exit gate first or you'll be sealed in. To make a dash, do a tackle, there's an upper left stick forward. Dashing is the fastest way. Labyrinth and Torment is for the enjoyment of everyone on Oni Island, so don't make a mess of it while playing. Wow, these monsters actually have rules and stuff. Interesting. Huh? Excuse me, good sir. Can I ask what you are doing here? What, did that scrap of paper just say something? Scrap of paper? Do not dishonor me with such an unflattering name. My name is Toby. Hold on. I need to take a screenshot of that. Um, is that the right button? The, uh... Oh well, that's fine. So what do you want, Motor Mouth? I serve, I serve as a gatekeeper of Oni Island. My job is to keep suspicious people out. I have never seen you around here before, good sir. Who are you and what business do you have here? You talking to my fine furry friend? Well, this here is a full throttle Ami. We gotta get up to the top of this castle ASAP. Sorry, no time to shoot the breeze with you. I am afraid I cannot allow that. Did you not hear me? I am gate a gatekeeper of Oni Island. But let us dispense with the forma formalities. So good, sir. You are known as full throttle Ami, are you? Well, I fancy myself a fine racer too, you know. How about we challenge each other to a, wa a race? Just a race to see who can reach that exit gate over there first. That sign there explains how to race against me. But as you said, let us stop shooting the breeze. From now on, let our race do the talking. I mean... Yeah? How do I start the race? Oh, step on the foot switch. Okay. Sure. I mean... It's not really too much of a race. Did I do it? I think I did. I see, it's gonna get progressively more complex as we go. Not bad, good sir. But that was a mere warm-up for me. Now you shall see what I really can do. Now I ask you, good sir, can you bear being a skewer alive? Stumble and you will fall headfirst into a sea of needles. Well, can you bear such a thing? What are you talking about? I mean, who possibly could? Well, whatever happens, please do not give up. It is so exciting to finally have a worthy opponent after so long. Okay, sure. Whoops. I got skewed alive. My bad. My depth perception is terrible for some reason. It's not usually that bad. Why is that letting me jump when I land? It's annoying. It's like a weird delay when you land. That was easy. <laughs> I only died a couple times. And a chest. up here. Let's 
interesting. You seem a bit winded, good sir. Do not risk your life by overdoing it. Hee <laughs> hee. The terraced passage ahead is not all that dangerous, shall we? Sure, whatever you say. I must warn you now, good sir. The true horror of the Labyrinth of Torment starts here. Perhaps it would be best if we turn back now. <laughs> Getting cold feet out, aren't you, Scrap? Now stop, uh, stop blabbing and let's get on with it. I was hoping you would say that, good sir. The Passage of Swords lies ahead. This is where I get serious. Cool. Oh, he's, he is moving. Oh boy. I gotta catch up. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. This is so sad. That doesn't seem too difficult though. I think I just need to not dash instead of actually dashing. I messed up already. <laughs> I give up. Can I get a running start? That's probably a good idea. this treasure I'm gonna bomb this I'm gonna bomb this please let me bomb this Let's play the last one okay there we go oh what a fine race you run, good sir. Full Throttle Army is a fitting name indeed. But I cannot bear to lose again, it is a matter of personal honour. Well, shall we? The passage of demonic wheels awaits. Let me get a, a running start. Fortunately, they gave me a very long path here to, to get a running start with. Here we go. I think it was anyway. Another exorcism slip. I am absolutely astonished. I never thought you could keep up with me. Oh, uh, get over it, Scrap. You're just not as good as you think you are. Mm. Very well. Let us try something a bit different this time. No disrespect intended, good sir. But do you think you can beat me in the Chamber of Delay? The Chamber of Delay? I don't like how that sounds. Oh, I see. Gotta be quick. Done. Okay, let me go, let me go, let me go. Let me go, let me go. There we go. Nice. That wasn't that bad. And more treasure.
Did I just teleport? Is that what I saw? Great, the samurai have lasers now. Oh. Checkpoint. The Labyrinth of Torment. Heat rays of hell. How to play. Cast statues will shoot deadly heat rays at you without mercy. You'll be badly injured if you're hit by one, so avoid them carefully. An impact to these statues could cause a momentary malfunction. Labyrinth of Tom to see the enjoyment of everyone? Yes. Okay. So... Sure. So if I go like... That works. Is enough. What's this? How far in are we? We've been running for a while. We're on the third floor? Huh. Oh. It's battle time. Oh hey, it's our boy. Mr. The Rock Johnson. to the weird form. And he's dead. Wow. Incredible stuff. <laughs> uh, did I miss anything else in here? I don't think so. Let's keep moving. Very generous save point, I will take it. Okay, we have another door with a key. None of my comrades have ever made it this far. It would appear you are not an opponent to be taken lightly, but I have had enough. It shall all end here. I, Toby, shall risk it all in the passage of needles. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I see. Um, there we go. Oh. That was it? What happened? Oh, yeah, that was it. <laughs> Interesting. There's the key. Just gotta get up there. Oh. Easy enough. Key. Can I go through here? No. We go. Strange obstacle. This looks menacing. Oh, wait. Oh. Are we not 
not gonna go back down to the first floor. I'm sure we must do, right? Oh. This one fierce looking statue. Look at how it's roaring up at the storm clouds. It's as if it's ready to leap up and take a bite out of the moon. But here's the problem. There's an enormous bow, but no arrows. The lack of a crucial element spells disaster for any masterpiece. Okay, well, have an arrow. Uh, have... have an arrow. Oh. An arrow. Or... have an arrow? There we go. The arrow blew away the storm clouds. Hey, look! Oh, this one's complicated. Why? It's, it's not actually that bad, but. Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. The evil forces which dwell here had sealed me away, but your arrival awakened me and restored the light within. You who walk the same battlefield as I, Gekigami, god of thunder, deserve the power of lightning. Use it to crush our foes. Vibes. At last, the twelfth god, Gekigami. Thunderstorm, the fearsome, the fearsome brush technique for controlling thunder, is his trademark. I'm sure you can master that one, Ami. It belonged to you once. I know, see that sword statue over there? Try striking it with a bolt of lightning. When you see lightning shooting from the storm cloud, simply draw a line connecting it to the statue. That'll guide the lightning down to the target. Go on, give that sword statue a good zap. Okay, cool. So I gotta time it. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> oh. I wonder if it's controlled by some electrical mechanism or something. Yeah, it is. Amy, there's only one more of those celestial brush techniques to go. Once you get that one, I will have seen all the techniques. Won't be much longer now. But this is no time to shoot the breeze. We should get going, Furball. Yes. Yes, indeed. Presumably this path will lead us back to the main room, where we can open that other door. And I, I bet if I zap it again it'll stop. That's probably what needs to happen. Stopped for a second, now it's going again. Weird. <laughs> well, we made it either way. Oh. 
There we go. 50, whoa. That's generous. Checkpoint. Oh, that's why there were light bulbs stuff. That that makes sense. Exorcism slip. Yippee. See, that was like the smallest bomb I've ever drawn, and it accepted that, but the other times where I've done something similar. Or like when I've made it bigger and more articulate, it just says no. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, interesting. Can I use these? I'm sure they must do something later. Huh. Key? It's a key. Pretty strange looking one if it is. You gotta be careful about what you pick up at me. I mean, who knows what might happen. You might get zapped or something. Don't say I didn't warn you. I wanna get zapped. Right, so it turns these on. Which means I can't go on them, I'm guessing. Huh? Whoa, what's with these contraptions? They lit up in a weird pattern. I wonder if it has anything to do with that little gizmo you just picked up. I sure hope it's not gonna trigger some kind of trap. Oh, it will. Oh. Oh no, it like turns them into platforms. Oh, that's very kind. Oh, not what I was expecting it to do. I'll be real. But then why would they put this here? Like, so I don't have to pick up the key? I, I did, to do that. Weird. These guys again. Oh, and I can electrocute them now because I have the key in my hand. That's pretty cool. Alright. What does this say? The Labyrinth of Torment, Sliding Doors of Hell. How to play. Go through one door and you'll be surrounded by more. Run up, down, all around to your heart's content. Due to repeated use, there are cracks in some walls. Do not even think about using any kind of explosive on them. Yes, okay. So it's like endless boys? Yeah. So I just gotta pay attention for bomb spots. Is mean. Oh, is, did it just sit like dead end? Is that what it means? I think probably. Nothing that way. Go back to the main room. Let's go this way. Little secret crack in the wall. an interesting idea. That is one thing this game does really well, like some of the like ideas for things, whether it's like game mechanics or like visual designs or you know things like that. This game is really creative in, the, in that regard. Getting somewhere I think. Looks like the way out. Bomb. Bomb. Nice. Oh, right, and we're back here now. Perfect. 
So we've got two things to do. Uh, first of all, boom, wait, boom, and then I will put the key in here. He goes through here this way. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll even be able to tell. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. That's fine. Let's go have a look. Is it just a chest? Oh. Wow. That was <laughs> really worth it. I guess we'll move on. I will, I will save first though. Stone. Very cool. Sing. Hmm. Oh, that's what I call a statue. Too bad it's wasted on the no good monsters here. Still, there's just something not right about it. Yeah, you think? Just maybe? <laughs> that right is so there. Yeah. I've seen Seven Strike, the legendary seven pronged sword, but never a nine pronged sword. Wait, isn't the sword I'm using Seven Strike? Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow. And <laughs> it's just gone immediately. Never existed. What is the point of this room? Why are there all these moving parts? Seems really excessive. I was wrong about this appearing like a Zelda dungeon. It's definitely more of the same like linear stuff. It just sort of had the appearance of a Zelda dungeon. Need to power that. Oh, the cake is a lie. Yikes, Ami, what did you do this time? Better think of something quick. Uh, I do anything? Do I have to hit them all at once? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Hit them all at once. Did that not do anything? Uh... Yeah, uh oh. I don't have any electricity in here. Oh, there's a fifth one. Ooh, that was close. Why, why would there just be a fifth one here? <laughs> what was the point of that? Okay then. Onwards we go. Oh, we're back to 2D. Well, 2.5D. Ba 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 ba. Oh. Okay. So if I do that, and then when it gets to there, I strike it? Does that stop it? Or do I have to power it again? No, it doesn't change anything. I just have to be better. Yeah. No wall jumping. Okay. 
Okay. Nice. We need another key. Understood. Um. Okay. So I've got to climb up there. Is there anything in here? Apart from the pots. I'm gonna say no. Probably not. Right, let's see. Uh, if I do this, I'm just gonna cover this. Nope. Yeah, I'll just draw something like that. Ow. It's gonna be tight. Uh, no. Oh uh, man, almost. There we go. Oh, so clean. My movement is crazy. That's the key. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Okay, key acquired. Please don't hurt me. Thank you. And now we can move on. Why? Why? Simply why? This is fun, this is interesting. It's a little junky with how the controls work, but I appreciate the effort. Just little, like, platforming ideas. Okay, we got a save point. Oh, the fourth floor now. Huh. Oh, we got a big long <laughs> horizontal room coming up. Or at least it, that's what it says. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. What? Oh, that's just referring to the previous room, I see. Got another key. What happens if I do this? Oh, I can break them permanently. Interesting. The map. Oh, there are a lot more floors. So we're probably going to be like climbing to the top, I guess. That would make the most sense. What? Ah. Oh. Okay. So, we're on floor four. There is a path through here, but... What is the point of this? Oh, to get back. I see. Right, so yeah, we gotta go through into the big room, get the key, and then come back. Nice and simple. Nice. 
spider up there. I forgot we have a like a time slowdown ability. Um, which I'm probably gonna need to use to get past the spider. But like, how do I get up there? First and foremost. Oh, right. Using this. Oh. It's... Or not. Yeah, I, I saw that. You gonna say something creative, Eason? Nope. Not today. There we go. Oh, you were just supposed to walk up from the key? Oh. Oh well. So yeah, we can just go over this now. Whoops. I forgot how to deal with that guy. Well, I'll check the, the techniques uh, when we get up there. Uh, okay. Let's see, this way. Oh! Yeah, I you, you showed me these once already, I, I understand. Slip. Nice. What is the brush skill? I do not remember. Um, it's not Veil of Mist, is it? It is. It's a pair of horizontal lines. Me. I see. I have to get rid of the key. Uh... Nope. Or I think I have to get rid of the key anyway. How do I do that? Oh. I just pressed triangle and it dropped it. That works. Presumably I still need it though. I take them both? No. Hmm. How do I get out? Oh. There we go. Presumably I'm gonna have to come back and grab the... the electric key. Yeah, because how do I get across here? Maybe I can like place it on the platforms? Is it gonna still be here? No, it's despawned. Okay. Oh, why do I still have this one? I thought I put it down. Stay there. Wait, let me take this key. What? Why? Why are you here? Can I place you? No. I'm going to get across then with the key. Is that like somewhere the key can go? There was like another path up here that I couldn't... It was like blocked off. Yeah, up there. Can we get up there maybe? Probably worth a shot.
see that. So presumably I can't get past this. I have access to the key, but how do I get over this without causing issues? Why is this boarded up? That's suspicious. This we boarded up. Stamina? Oh, what's with this wall? Save your strength. It looks well reinforced to me. Hey, wait, I feel a faint breeze coming through. Oh. Is that what it's looking for? Wait, can I. Oh, I unlit the candles by accident. Can... Did they relight? Please tell me they relight. Faint breeze coming through. Whoops. Can I burn this? That's meant to be implying. Just to get the key across, that's the main thing right now. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm just not paying attention. I see. I'm an idiot. <laughs> we love to see it. I just straight up did not see the bombable wall. I'm glad they put that there. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go get the electric key again because I think we'll probably end up needing it. Awesome. Pretty cool. This way. Oh, we're doing more racing. Okay, awesome. So, sir? So, you have made it this far, have you? I must tell you, good sir, the time for fun and games is over, for it is my sworn duty to stand guard here. But during our competition, oh, how shall I put it? I became rather fond of you, good sir. The sight of you risking your life in a gallant charge. That is something I simply must see again. <laughs> have I failed as a gatekeeper for feeling so? Uh. So, you see, good sir, I wish to live a life of competition. To come this far only to give up? No, that is not me. I care not if I am a failure as a gatekeeper. Let us make this a race for the ages. Okay, well, I have slow motion, so... L? L plus ratio? I was thinking earlier in like the earlier races, like, don't I have slow motion? Couldn't I just outspeed him with that? <laughs> The answer is yes, I think. Oh, it's these guys. There's gotta be a better way to deal with these guys. Camera really does not like to cooperate in this game sometimes. It's 
It's that old video game jank, baby. Okay, one down. You just kind of got to whirl on these guys until they give up. Slice and then hit a couple more times. Nice. Hey, I did not remember which way I came from. Ow. Oh. Oops. like that chest, so I'm gonna... Nope, that did not work. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a... like a... a bounty enemy in this one. I haven't been doing any of those. Like, not actively, at least. Six. Oh, we dropped down. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting really close. I think. I wonder if we're gonna get the last brush technique before the final boss. Because I assume the final boss is coming up pretty soon. It's the guy. Gaha! I am blockhead. I guard this place so that all shall pass. Oh, uh, wait, make that none shall pass. Oh, you again. You really want me to keep picking at your weak points? What are you talking about? Um, now, where was I? Uh, oh, yes. You are that terrible assassin who has been slaying my brethren. The White Demon of Death. <laughs> looks like you got a new nickname, Febble. I foresaw your coming. I am the shadowy, shadowy ruler of Oni Island. Be warned, I am far different from my brethren. Though you may be the white demon of death, you cannot slay me. Now be on your way, you shall not pass. What are you still doing here? You are wasting your time. I am the shadowy ruler of Oni Island, and I am far different- Yeah, yeah. Warflower here is really getting on my nerves. Amy, give him a good headbutt so we can get on with our mission. Yes. He's gonna have just like one weak point right in the center. Oh, no. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I didn't space it very well. Uh, let's try that again. Oh, it's random. Interesting. One, two, 
say for what? No. Ow. Hey, Amy, aren't you forgetting something? Did you see this? Yeah, I understand. I'm just bad. Currently, is it just like really specific? Yeah, I I I do understand. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got a little nice little square here. Got one here. What? Oh. Um. Oh, do I need like ink bullet equipped? Is it because I don't have ink bullet? No, I do have ink bullet. Right? I'm so confused. Two. Three. Four. Five. Then it worked. Okay. <laughs> sure. You are so e you so easily struck at my weak points, and after I trained so hard to cover them up too, I blockhead submit to defeat. Still, I am the shadowy ruler of Oni Island. Do not dishonor me, at least in my hour of death. I shall succumb to oblivion with honor. Well, there he goes. What a trooper. I am indeed no match for you, good sir. Your eyes, ever focused on tomorrow, have led you to the climax. Of course, I do not mean our petty little races. Oh, mighty warrior who seeks the castle's summit on Oni Island. The true climax of your adventure is close at hand. Toby never felt such competitive fire until you, good sir. Though I cannot join you, I shall send you off with a final dash. Screw up. Alright, good sir. Now for the race to end them all. Make it one that I shall never forget. Uh... Okay. Where are we going? I don't... I don't quite get it. Amazing, good sir. I am so glad we could part like this. I hope my final dash pleased you, good sir. <laughs> you're not half bad for a scrap of paper. And even though you're an enemy, I guess I should commend you. I feel so very fortunate to have such a great man as yourself witness my final moment. Hey, hey, scrap. Why are you talking like you're about to vanish at any second? I have violated the precepts and thus shall thusly be erased. So it is I who must bid you farewell. I shall now accept my fate for abandoning my duty as a, a gatekeeper. You mean... Oh, don't be sorry for me, good sir. This was the life of my own choosing. I treasured it, and no one can ever take that away from me. Though I may have been born a mere servant of spirits, I should at least be allowed to do what I please at my passing. For otherwise, my life would have been in vain. I fear I shall not be able to guide you the rest of the way. I wish I had a bouquet of flowers to present you at this farewell. But alas, I must part with you empty-handed. Please forgive me. Farewell, good sir, and good luck. Oh, Toby, no. Oh. So sad. Toby, it was more than a petty little race. Perhaps I wouldn't even have gotten this far without you. With that true spirit of competition you showed me, I can now face the biggest challenge of my life so far. Women. <laughs> Why do we have so much money? Oh my gosh. Man, rip Toby. So sad. 
What if the final god is like Toby and it's like, I am the great god Origami. <laughs> He's just like a giant paper dragon. Uh, right. This looks like the final boss. Holy smokes. I hear. Feel that weird vibe this place has given off, Amy? It may be quiet now, but I've got a major case of the creeps. I know she's watching us from the shadows. She's ready to strike at any moment. You ready, Amy? Are you ready? Yes. Excellent. I can't wait to cut loose and go berserk. Let's teach that fox-headed wench a lesson. Okay. Here we go. Have we finally reached the top of the castle? Now where's that fox-headed wench hiding? The Great Eastern's gonna avenge Queen Himiko. Is- is Eastern actually going to do anything? I really hope he does in this final battle. <laughs> you said it, bud. Blood Moon rises once again. Please be careful, Link. Consolation? Here? Oh, this is the Lost Brush technique? Okay. Can't believe it could shine in such an evil place. Ooh, oh. Oh, it's the Nine Tailed Fox. Are we, is this how we summon it? Really? Uh, Come on. Does have to be so awkward sometimes, man? Let me, let me wait until they all vanish and I'll do it again. There. 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 That's perfect! Are you kidding me? Oh, is there one in the center as well, or...? Yeah, okay. Oh man. She is... Oh, a cool design. Nine tails. <laughs> so, Amaterasu, you have crept into my castle like a sneaky little mouse, have you? By the power of Yami, ruler of the Land of Darkness, I, Ninetales, have been made Lord of Ryoshima Coast. You needn't have come all this way just for me to kill you. I would have found you and done so just the same. Just like I did to Queen Himiko. Yami? Land of Darkness? Never heard of either of them. And I don't remember ever giving you my okay to rule Ryoshima Coast. Yami is the absolute ruler of all evil beings. He is the ultimate symbol of darkness. And he is nothing like those false gods of your fairy tales. Is this not the final boss then? Oh, we're 100% getting that sword. I want that sword. False gods. You're the one going around pretending to be a priestess and building fishy hideouts like this. Wait, was Rao... I don't... Are they implying that Rao was fake all along? I, I, I don't know. We're going to expose you for what you are once and for all. <laughs> we shall see your fairy one. Prepare to face the wrath of my terrible power. A power far beyond your so-called gods. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna hold this menu for a second, cause- Oh, what? 
What happened there? Oh, he's got brush techniques too. That's so sick. What? I wanted to listen to the music for a second. Actually, I could just like do this. Oh, hell yeah. Music in this game is so great. Alright, let's see this. So what's the... what is the idea? Oh man. Oh! Oh, I see. I understand. There. Boom! Now I have to attack one of them? Oh, all of them. They're all attacking. these guys to fight. Oh crap. Yeah, I can't I can't stay in that menu for too long. Ow. Uh oh. I missed it. That sucks. Oh, it's losing tails because I'm defeating them, I think. Get rid of these last ones. Nice. Okay. It's a few. Uh Okay, no. Okay. Yeah. Two more. Just these two. Oh, is that the main one? Right, so I have to kill all the other ones first, I guess. <laughs> so, it's so weak. It's like an elderly one. Okay. And this is the last one. Did something spawn? Oh! Oh. Is that like its actual form? Oh, it's way faster now. Does it take damage? Uh oh. Nice. He's angry. 
And yeah, he does take damage then, I think. Nice. Dude. Chill. That is not the sword it was using. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. You obtained Divine Instrument, Blade of Kusanagi. Cool. Jade Edged Glaive, obtained upon the defeat of Ninetales. Himiko's death had been avenged. Amaterasu's tenacity had proven too much for Ninetales. The fearsome beast lay defeated, its true nature laid bare for all to see. In death it was reduced to no more than a tired old fox. Oni Island, pining for its master, raised a din and began to crumble. Like a funerary offering, it scattered into, fla uh, it scattered into flowers. But Otohime, who had transformed into the water dragon, returned to the dragon palace, a role fulfilled. Ninetales' monstrous countenance, removed from its master, moved skyward, transforming into a wisp of pure and utter blackness. There, it joined the spirit of its defeated master. Even Blight showed up, lending a hand to the fallen Ninetales. There, yeah, the fallen Ninetales. Pulsing and undulating, they intertwined in midair. Then, the black mass moved towards the land to the extreme north. Four such blackened spirits had emerged from Orochi's corpse. Perhaps these two were off to join their remaining brethren. Left behind were Ninetales' words about the Dark Lord, Yami. Could it be that this formidable creature resided to the north? Amaterasu, sensing a dark presence, trembled. The, dim the diminutive Isern, who had accompanied Amaterasu bravely, felt a tinge of hesitation in his in his heart, for he had predicted that the journey would end when all 13 powers were restored. With only one power remaining, a tiny frown creased his face. At any rate, their next target was waiting in the frozen north. Their adventure was far from over. No time to rest on your laurels, Emmy. Defeating Ninetales didn't bring Himiko back, but at least you can send her spirit off the heroic howl. Man, so yeah, that was like the penultimate thing. What? This game just keeps going. Like, it could have ended twice now. <laughs> it hasn't. It's so interesting. Would you like to save the game? Yes, I would. So, how much is left? I may have to google it because if there's not like, if it's like a few hours then I'm just gonna continue. But if it's like a whole other session, I don't know. Bonjour Amaterasu. Been on a little fox hunt over on Oni Island, have you? By the looks of it I'd say you had a rather rough time. Was that wily fox really so formidable? <laughs> Why you, how can you say that? Kimiko's dead you heartless swine. Uh huh? Oh, I see. Well, I never expected to see you acting like such a little whelp. After all, Queen Himiko was resigned to her fate. Even you knew that, did you not, Amaterasu? What are you talking about? Anyway, you're, you're the last one on Earth we want to see right now. Now get out of my face, you two-bit prophet. My my, what a fabulous mood you're in today. Your anger is enough to cloud the sky. See, I told you. 
That thunder is coming from north of Shinshu Field. It no doubt heralds the coming storm. Well, ma chérie, I must bid you adieu. But first, let me leave you with this. A shocking zap and it opens. Phew, feels good to get that one off my chest. And while I'm at it, I'll just make a little mark on your map. Wow, how kind. Huh, oh, who said you could do that? Did you not plan on going there anyway, ma chérie? You know. In the direction of the evil that sprung from the wily fox's body. Okay, what are you up to this time, pretty boy? <laughs> oh, it felt so good to prophesize after such a long break. Now you see me, and now you don't. Au revoir. And there he goes. Elusive as ever. Wow, I was like really low on health at the end there. Okay. I'm gonna pause for a second and just very quickly google how long the north section is of this game because I don't really know uh, I'm seeing people saying this game is like 40 hours long we're at like 20 something Play through multiple stories is what they're saying. Ah, huh. interesting. Uh, how, many, how much game after the night is? I don't know why I suppose the way to start it. The game more or less divides into three main arcs. Which was the first, Nine Tales was the second. Okay, so, yeah, I. I know that's a little spoilery, but I kind of felt the need to Google that because so far I've had no idea of like where I am in this game. That is helpful. So we basically just made it two thirds of the way through. It's so strange. I feel like, yeah, like my my thing about this game, like um, the, the thing I said, but I said this game could have ended twice is like <laughs> it rings very true. Um, from the sound of it, it's like three separate stories. Well, they're not like separate per se, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, we still have like we still have a lot to go, which is surprising. Um, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't really know how to feel about it to be honest, because like this game is cool, but like. I don't know if it's needed. I feel like it's a bit excessive. I think maybe if like... I think you could have split this into like two halves, maybe. Even one, like, the game could have ended at Orochi and like, yeah, it would have been a shorter game, but I would have been pretty satisfied with that. Um, and like Orochi was the focus at the beginning. And now we're just like somewhere completely different entirely. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, because we're not gonna beat it today, like that that is inevitable. Um, but um, before I I stop for tonight, uh, I'm gonna go to the spot that was marked on the map and just take a look um, at the north area. Because I would like to see what it looks like before we uh, before we finish for today. Similarly to the past couple streams where we ended uh, when we like just reached the new area, I think it's fair we do that here. I'm curious if it's going to be like a snowy area or what. Is it even like a part of the map? There is oh there is an area to the north, and a little bit extra to the left as well, which I'm. A part of me is hoping that it's like not actually, there's not actually stuff there. Because there's just so much. I feel like, like, I don't know if this game is still hiding anything interesting enough to warrant being so long, if that makes sense. Which is why I'm like hesitant for there to be loads more content. 
think, yeah, Shinshu Field is probably where we want to go. It's because, like, it's not quite reached the point where it feels like it's dragging, but I feel like it's going to get there fairly soon. And that's concerning. <laughs> I remember this. Cool. We're actually gonna like make use of it. Hey, wait. Oh, I can I can catch him now. Yo, nice move, Pooch. You want to speak to me? I would like to have a conversation. Please. Yeah. Can we speak? Okay. He just does not care for me. Awesome. Yeah, I remember there being a cat statue over, over here. So we can probably use that to climb up. That'll probably be enough. Yeah, nice. Yeah, this is just like a whole extra part of the, the first area. I mean, I'm sure for the people that like really love this game, learning that there's like a whole extra story after the main one, and then another one after that, is really exciting. And I'm sure they were really proud of like packing this full of so much content. But in terms of like an experience from start to finish, I don't know. I feel like I would have been satisfied with just the first one. And I think by dragging it out into two additional ones, you kind of run the risk of like the uh, the flaws of the game getting highlighted a bit more because they have a bit more time to show themselves. Um, and yeah, I'm just worried the game isn't going to be able to do enough interesting things in this like final chunk to warrant the existence of the final chunk. I would be very happy to be proven wrong, but yeah, I don't know. Right now it just kind of feels like uh, a necessary excess. So I'm hoping that it, that I'm pleasantly surprised. But we'll see, I guess. Um, anyway, let's go do this thing and see where it leads. It's moving. Oh. No, there was a door there. Let's see. It's like a weird bunker. Amy, do you know where this hole leads to? You know, there was a foul smoke rising from Nine Tails which flew off to the northern lands. That's what's waiting for us on the other side of this tunnel. Anyway, what's up with that cre creepy lightning? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Yeah, we're heading to the mountaintops of the giants. It is gonna be snowy. Really? Oh hell yeah! I mean, I it, it was it was pretty likely, I, I suppose. Hamui. Uh, is it cold here or what? How could anywhere be so damn cold? I know Kamu is the northernmost part of Nippon, but come on. Wait, are we, are we actually in Hokkaido? Is that, is that what this is? I think Hokkaido is like... the top part? I don't remember it ever snowing this hard before. Listen, Ami, I'm gonna hunker down in this fur coat of yours. You try to find some shelter from this nasty blizzard. Yerp. So we... yeah, we actually are in like...
Whoa. Cool. Oh, an ice area now. That's pretty. Ne that's pretty neat. Um, but I guess we'll continue this uh, another time. Um, and see what there is to see. We've only got one brush technique left, so I assume this section isn't going to be like insanely long. But yeah, I don't know. Web. What does it say? Web care. And Yosh. I don't. Are they just like intentionally Yosh pet? Oh, weird. Um, but yeah, that'll that'll do for today. Um, in terms of oh, which is the one to exit the game? This one. In terms of when the next stream will be for this, um, it won't be next weekend because I'm going back home next weekend. Um, but next week I'm going to be available throughout most of it. So. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm planning on probably doing uh, Undertale Yellow on one of those days. Um, but I might slot in a an, uh, an Okami stream on one of them as well. I'm not sure which ones yet. It'll kind of just be whatever I'm feeling. Probably not tomorrow. Um, Yeah, I'll probably distribute it, so it might be like a Tuesday and a Thursday or a Tuesday and a Friday, you know, something, something like that. We'll figure it out. But I think that's the plan. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll just keep trekking on with Akami. I'm, I'm interested to see more of this game. Um, I just, yeah, I wish it was like... I wish the different ideas that they, they're exploring in this were like uh, a lot, like... Not necessarily smaller, but more compact and more dense. Like you've got this like snowy area, you had the city area with the, the like ocean and stuff, you had like the main field and like foresty stuff. I think you could have condensed a lot of that down. Um and it would have still worked. I'm sure for like a game that like people like sunk a bunch of hours into, having so much there is like is great um but i know at least for me playing through it it just feels heavy and like excessive um but i will see how that that opinion develops as we go i suppose but in any case um that'll do for a uh, for akami for today um yeah thank you thank you guys for hanging out um I'm gonna go probably make dinner, and I guess I will see you guys next week for Undertale Yellow and probably more Okami. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye bye.